Yo, rest yes, in peace to Al. That's the only yo. Al's. Rest in peace to Al's. Al, goddamn it. Al's uh, me too. Diner. Communal Poor Avenue. Right there. Jersey City. Mm -hmm. Legendary. Was a staple. It, oh, what am I? The fuck? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was a staple in Jersey City. What park is that? Ages. Park. Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. Okay. Damn it. Right across the street. Everything know, happened <laughs> there. Drug transactions. <laughs> Stayed this out. place is out of business. Gang Stick ups. Meet, gang meetups. <laughs> I stayed out of robberies. I didn't have yeah, no it all happened. Stick ups. Mm -hmm. If you, if you try tried going there when the club let out, like late man one a.m. something like that. You had to be somebody. boy, boy. Men were made. <laughs> at Al's diner, yo. Al's mm -hmm. diner, you bumped in there. Every, every op, <laughs> no, every op, every body. Sometimes every. they, sometimes they was with people. And you wasn't. You wasn't. You was on a date. You had a girl with you. <laughs> Rest in peace to Al. God damn it. Al was old for a long time. So niggas used to run out on the check. Yeah. On Al, he, oh, he, he would man. he would chase you. <laughs> I don't know nobody that hasn't ran out of Al's diner. Like, oh, that, and then Nancy. Yo, rest in peace to Nancy, yo. Nancy was the waitress at Al's for a million years, and Nancy died. She chased you, too? No, nah, Nancy was fly with the whole hood. <laughs> Nancy was fly with every street nigga that came in Al's, yo. So when she died, it's like some of the soul of Al's. Al's is not there anymore. Nah, they, they uh, just shoot, it. shootouts back there. Nah, it wasn't even, they didn't even justify it. It's gone. Mm. Actually, you could Google that. It's like national shootouts back there. <laughs> national, yo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Dudes came what? from all over the country to shoot each yo, other's ass. Yo, oh, on the low, Jersey City <laughs> has a lot of national, like, news. I'm sure. That doesn't just, surprise yeah, me. Just a few years ago, the fucking big yeah, yeah, yeah. shootout up there, mm. cop shootout. At the synagogue. The, yeah, yeah, that was a wild city. story yeah. that we still never really got to. No, we never yo, did. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's going to say it. No, nope, no, nope, nope, that, that's it. why I just, you know, we'll move, move that one. But that wasn't the truth, what <laughs> no, was reported. No. And that was, Those were media lies. <laughs> Woo. It's a bunch of shit about Ali Al. <laughs> one, Damn, one day. demolished. Yeah. Come on, don't do that to Al's diner. You're not too much it on Al's. said Al's. one day. I don't care. You ain't got to read it to millions of people. <laughs> <laughs> got to be responsible with your platform. Jesus. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Rest in peace to uh, Al and Nancy. Don't ask me how we got here, but <laughs> I don't know. Ish, are you looking at us like bottom feeders? For going to the diner? For running no, for out. for running out. For running out. Oh, uh, for the dining dash? For running out and check. Everybody got a dining dash at one point. He don't. That's what he's saying. Look at him. Come on, Ish. I never did that in my life. Yo, he too good for us. Yo, it's, cool. I just never did it in my life. You mad at me because I Mr. ain't- Mr. Inside has done that. And you ain't did that? No. I'm mad that you could be friends with a man for 17 years. And not know if he <laughs> stole food. And just Pardon not me. know certain things about Men are so weird. No, we though. assume certain shit. Men are like, weirdos. I, I don't know if Parks ran out on the bill, but I assume he did no, at did. some point. I can you can rest I assume assured. that. Young boys in the back. Yo, they asked Parks that. Y'all ever y'all ever ran out at the hip hop gate before they let him in. <laughs> See, look. You shit it was me. at the meeting, yeah. Don't, That's, don't at the studio, y'all. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo you, go you, go to the diner, you, run you, out. You stole some bacon and eggs before? <laughs> all right, you, you could get in. Respect you could come Parks, in. All right, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, dog. Yeah, young I'm boys, they did it. I'm a disappointment to y'all. I didn't never run out of a fucking diner without paying. I ran out of diners after fights. But not after so wait, after the fight, you still stayed and paid and then left. <laughs> oh, so y'all fought. After you, you never paid. had a fight before the check was paid. Come on, we yo. had riots. Everybody did that. East Orange Diner. Me and my friends had riots. But did you, but y'all paid. Me and my yeah, friends had riots. Fight. Like they know you. Had, you, are. you had money your whole life. Might have. I mean, serious question. Me personally, no. But I hung around niggas that had it. Not trying to be dick, neither. Oh, so you was that nigga? The nigga that they no, had to pay whoa, for his whoa, man? Whoa, whoa. Every <laughs> where he went. Oh, my. You bum ass. My name is Antoine. <laughs> I'm asking a question. Help me, Ice. <laughs> I'm here to have fun today, <laughs> goddammit. It ain't too hey, much in the news. I'm hey, having I some fun. I can't, Antoine. But running out on the bill was like a rite of passage. Yeah. <laughs> and you had to do that shit as a knucklehead teenager, at least. You know what I'm saying? Stupid. Like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, heavy on that nigga. Heavy on who? Heavy on that nigga. <laughs> A lot on him.
Still. 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 Yeah, Still. I, I, I would imagine. Shout out to fucking Cardi B, man. It's stuck up yo. there. Leave it there. It's up. Leave it there. I love them young boys. Hey, yo, if shit. you had to tally a bill, it would be up, up. From of me? Of niggas is up and stuck with? No, no, no. no. For the, I know what you're saying. For, yeah, for it would homeboy. be. It'll be up. Oh. Nigga. Yo. Hello. I don't know why. I don't I know, can't what, I don't know what it's going, yo. But I can't believe he's never run out on the track. Yeah, that's, that's like that's some that's... elitist your whole life type oh, shit. Oh, man. I'm impressed hey, by yo, that. Dog. I'm more impressed that they what had else? to fight and still pay. What else you never did? Tell the audience. Tell all of us. That you've done? Or y'all? No, no just, just regular some things shit. that you yourself. What about like shoplifting at the, at the gas station? I used to boost clothes. <laughs> so, God, you Oh, that's when you was wearing all the mesquite. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I was like, this nigga got the mesquite way before this. This ain't out. Why like, yeah. is this nigga stealing? <laughs> this what you still wear the mesquite. This nigga stealing from his friends up there. Uh, I was the Shore Hills Mall King. Oh, you was even doing like <laughs> elitist crime. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Was Yo, monster. you are the man. Yo, out of the Shore Hills. That's where the fly shit was at. I, nigga, I, I, I didn't know Short Hills existed. I ain't going to Willowbrook to steal. I was just <laughs> having that talk with Simba. Oh, I was mm. stealing at Willowbrook. Too. That was the talk <laughs> about how it's all set up by design. And when I was in, just telling my life story to him. <laughs> Shout oh, to Simba. Because I, well, I was with Simba, the rapper yeah, at uh, uh, the Hooker Spot. How you I, know? Because you told me and I was supposed to come up there. And I did. Oh, yeah, you were supposed to come up there. That's how. <laughs> oh, I th- thought fucking the blogs got us. <laughs> got ass. Niggas is paranoid. It's all design. So I was telling him how I'm in Jersey City, but I never knew that this nice area existed, Even existed. right here mm-hmm. up the street. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is true. Like, same thing. Not to go. I never knew Short Hills existed and what it meant. Mm. I knew some niggas that went up there, but nah, what right. does that mean, really? Right. Yo, my man, um, the first time I went to Cleveland, now this is a funny story. Like, it's Cleveland, so it has a reputation. My man took me What's to- What's reputation of Cleveland? Like it's downtrodden. Oh, okay. Right? Gotcha. But my man took me to a part that shit looked like Edgewater. It was right on a water, because you know, Lake Erie right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we went back to niggas that lived in Cleveland their whole fucking life. They didn't know that shit existed. They had never been there. Yeah. So when you say it's by design, that's real shit. Like mm-hmm. we lived in fucking northern New Jersey our whole life. Nigga, I was 25 before I knew what Edgewater was. Mm. Shit was 15 minutes away, but you wouldn't know that. Has Edgewater always been nice? You've always had the view, and it's always been expensive. Like, okay. Fort Lee has always That's been I mean. kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. expensive. Well, it wasn't developed. Now, now hold up now, because I be running around here uh, with my dick on the table talking about, yeah, I've been here since 03, 04, but I'm speaking to people <laughs> That's 60. that are 60. And they will tell you that shit was trash. Nothing. Nothing. Mm. Hoboken. That was, is what the kind uh, yeah. Brooklyn Jewish ladies told me. Yeah. Mm. Said, yo, right. it's all of this is amazing mm-hmm. because this was nothing. Garbage dump. Oh, yeah? Yes. It, wow. it used to be a, a port town like where the boats would dock right, right. and they would sewage. Like they got an issue in Edgewater now where they talk about um, toxic shit. I, you know what I'm talking Like they say it. Yo, that is the first thing I thought when I saw Stephen A. Smith, Molly, and whoever that was on a boat. They were on a boat doing their show. For Stephen's return. In the East River? For Stephen A's return. In New York? Yes. On it, it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> Why? Like, you know what One of the fans is. hit me talking about, yo, I see y'all doing something big like this. I'm like, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and Molly, Molly didn't seem to have the greatest of time either. She was seasick. Looked like she was about to throw up. We know it's in that water. I'm cool. Oh, yeah. Mike Irvin. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad football's coming back. Water. Me too. No, I was I'm excited about it. I can't wait. I'm I'm excited. I watched the Dolphins game twice. <laughs> I cannot wait. 1-0 and 1-0 oh. 1-0 oh. and oh. Huh? Whose team is 1-0 1-0 oh oh, Huh? Oh right here Okay I meant to cue up the Mets closer music Before we started Boy, he be Are any of y'all aware? I'm not aware Mm-mm. Y'all not into baseball? No uh, I watched I've been to a couple Mets oh, games play Wild thing or something? <laughs> there needs to be a story on The Mets turnaround Since New, well, they got, new owner. Yeah, I was gonna say they got a new owner. Yeah. They were really, Care. really, really bad and toxic. That nigga and, cares and, and yeah. broke, mm-hmm. so they couldn't do nothing. Right. The Mets now no, they are signing anybody. You on the market was good. We got it. Mm-hmm. People want to come over there, so they got this closer who's like Mariano Rivera now. Mm. When he come in the game, the game is over. 
<laughs> and every game, when he come out, now we got to find the music. <laughs> what do when, they play? When he come out, they play a song. It's his song. Oh, he got his own shit. He when he come I'm out, walking out to my own shit. When he come out, I don't even know what type of song this is, but it's just music. Oh. And that stadium goes nuts. Because you know what the fuck you know time, what time it is. Yeah, yeah. Game's over. Stop this. I'm finding it's this. It's like song. Steve Austin glass <laughs> break, nigga. You know what it is. Nah, like uh what was my man name? Wild Thing. Yeah, or, yeah. Or Major, Major League. League. That was Charlie Sheen's character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlie Sheen. When, when you hear that, you know what it you know what it is. Girls start rubbing themselves. <laughs> No bullshit. <laughs> they did. You remember the movie, dog? No, I know. They was I know. Going I watched crazy over that I know exactly what you mean. Oh, you, what's right, his name? On. It popped right up. <laughs> what's his name? Yeah, Edwin Diaz. Name? Edwin Diaz. Okay. All right. Let's yeah, go. We're yeah. going. We're no, going. No, we oh, we going? Yeah. yeah, we good. We got to stop. Yeah, hold it down for you. No, this ain't even. No. No, we need CDQ. Oh. Oh, yeah. This sound like. but. You get a horse, nigga? Even, nah, you got the Spanish trumpets? The fuck is he, a matador? Yo, what the fuck? Right right? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Because even that, that one is too short. Oh, uh, That sounds like it, though. No, I, I can imagine. Oh, well. That's imagine all I needed being, to hear, I, quite yeah, frankly. Yeah, I'm like, straight. Imagine being in there. you Dog. Oh, yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's yeah. over. Yeah, they probably. Pack that might up. snatch this the soul out of the other team. Listen. Nah, yo, when it starts, it's just drums. But that's before he comes out. So you let it build? let it build? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And then as soon as he can be seen, <laughs> oh, my, oh my God, yo. I'm just going to let it rock because we got shit to do. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> and, hey, and, yeah, but imagine, that's hard. That's but, hard. But that's imagine dope. you really him. Yeah. Coming out to this. Nigga, Look, imagine this, you the, the other team. Yo, the whole, everybody is stopping and staring at this. What's that? Who the fuck Ooh, yeah, is yeah. that over there? <laughs> Dog. It's hard. Hey, yo, I wish I was a rapper sometimes. <laughs> this is tough. And I'm coming out the and it's over. Yeah. Like, nigga. Shit God. called Narco. God. That's the name. Damn. <laughs> Shit. No, nah, no, nah, that's hard. That's how that's you do it though. That's how you Cause that, 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 that punches the other team in the face. No, nigga. If all you think of, about it. And all of that is marketing. You getting crowd participation. Everybody going ape shit. That's dope. My man's name is Blaster Jackson, Timmy Trumpet. That's out of here. <laughs> Whoever owns that one, buddy. Timmy Trumpet got that one. Yeah, he did that. He did that. But you saying that and you really, you that you coming out like that and you really the and dude, you really, though. And you really sending these niggas home. The Mets be winning two to one, like <laughs> three to two. Bro, that shit is mental. Him. I'm telling you, something three like that Three to one. Because of him. Again, you the other team. This motherfucker coming out, you hear this. Yeah, no, the horns not, and all this shit, the crowd going crazy. That's how you knew. That Ma- shit could fuck you That's up. how you knew Mariano Rivera was that dude that's because true. it made made national news when he lost the game. That is true. Yeah, that is true. It didn't happen so often, but it was national news if Mo lost. Yeah, it was it. Oh, you got it, Parks, with the you drums in the beginning. You know I did. Oh, he got it the way you was talking about. <laughs> oh no, I come in the same way. Nah, this rocks a little longer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. up. What's up? That he back there doing this. <laughs> nah, straight, for real. Straight. When the drums is rocking, he back there just yeah, doing yeah, this. Yeah, he just... Oh my god, yo! I'm a Yankee fan talking like this. <laughs> Look at that the power of music, yo! Look at the power of music. Oh, hey, you, Mike you, check you, you one two good, one two. Y'all know what the fuck time it is, and y'all know what we here to do. God. Hey, <laughs> best part in the world. Shout out to the first and last time listeners. <laughs> nah, this shit crazy. We going on seven, eight years of this shit. Black owned, independent, no ads. Number one or two for about my whole time being here. <laughs> I don't know why you niggas consistently play with a nigga like me. <laughs> hey, it just make you talk like that. Yeah. Oh, you about to go yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get ready to go. You can't stop the ride. Can't stop this. Nah, nah. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. No, I want to hear this at, right? Yo. Oh, I'm out. Pass me the shrooms. <laughs> Nigga. Uh, yo. Um, hey, yo. And Melody. What it and Melody, I can see 17 nice ones just spinning around with high heels. <laughs> this is a Molly 
My melody run is in the Hall of Fame somewhere. As soon as the New York Hall of Fame is pulled up, my melody run is in there. Good times. Good fucking times. Yeah, shout out to the shrooms. Mike, 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 wake it up. The fuck is up out there. What episode is this? Uh, 58, 558. Welcome to episode hey. 558 of the Joe Budden Podcast. You know who I am, you know who we are, and you know what the fuck time it is because you're here with us, and we are grateful for that. For that, we thank you. You could have been anywhere in the world. Now, young boys in the back, y'all all right? Yeah. Uh, they still recovering from Saturday, man. <laughs> Saturday. Shit was a little litty at the uh, uh, Need to Know Mixer. What happened? Hey, Corey, throw me, uh, throw me a water. The, the Need to Know boys threw a mixer down the Lower East Side. They rented a nice little uh, bar club situation. Some light. No, you light. know what I mean? Mm. Brought, brought them out. I don't get invited to nothing. Brought them out. Just packed it with hoes. We don't know what you would come out for, though, honestly. Hey, hold on. Let me turn this to applause down. <laughs> <laughs> let me turn some. Hey, hey, Alex, pardon me. No disrespect. Let me turn this applause down for a second. <laughs> Can't nah, be too to quick invite... to congratulate, man. Oh, supposed to invite man. Joe, though. What? You got to hold some of their congratulations. I'm, 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 I'm what you feel. I'm, I'm foul. Look at me. Alex, why? why? I'm, I'm foul? My fault, bro. I didn't know you would come. Real shit. You're not the only one that's foul. Damn, who else? Damn. It's other. Uh, damn. Is that niggas foul? I mean, who else could have invited me? It's, it's, From it's, need to know. It's, 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 it's oh, need to know uh, crew. Uh, I guess you ain't crew. need to know, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> know what I mean? It's the tough part of getting rich, man. Oh, man. I think you don't need to know no more. Yeah. You realize some people just view you as work. Oh, man. Nah. Wow. <laughs> ain't, ain't an all drop? Nah. nah. Yeah, we need an all. I got oh, you. Oh, man. This guy, yeah. they don't want oh, wait. The, I turned they, the fucking shit down. They don't want the boss at the party, man. Period. To right. be so, I don't know. I don't know what went into that process. But you met the criteria. I met the criteria to be selected. <laughs> but I wasn't. <laughs> but you wasn't. But you wasn't selected. <laughs> oh, it's fucked up, bro. Yeah. It's right there. It's right Yo, behind what's the, wrong the phone. with you, fam? Oh man, you wasn't selected, dog. Not at all. That's a shame, man. Yeah, damn, that's fucked up. Ish pulled up. You know what I mean? They even they selected me. Wait, you too? Yeah. I said, How bro, convenient I is that? Wow. <laughs> How convenient is fucking that? That's How convenient is that? Yeah. Nah, Sorry. Do that. Yo, what's wrong with you, yo? Sorry, yo. Oh, damn, man. damn, Alex, man. Damn. Nah, my fault, Joe. For I didn't know you would pop out. Tell him you got you got him next time, right, gang? Of course. Come on. Now. You go to the second. To the next pod mixer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they took an empty building and they filled it with. Yeah. Wait, you was there? Yeah, it's pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> pulled up. Pulled up. Pulled up. Wait, yo. <laughs> <laughs> he was in there. Look at his face. Okay. Erickson was there. <laughs> Rob was there. <laughs> oh, everyone was there. Everyone was well, there. I wasn't there. I was invited. So I wasn't there. Oh. Uh, they just hit you with the, oh, you didn't see the flyer? You ain't getting no flyer. <laughs> Damn, kid. Damn. Wow. You got, now you pardon. <laughs> <laughs> now you pardon. Alex. Yo. Do you understand how this looks? Nah, it looks bad. I ain't gonna lie, bro. But real, real talk, I know you will pull out. Real shit. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. Accountability. Mm-hmm. I take it. Ain't nobody else's bad. Accountability <laughs> is all. You <laughs> just throw them under the yeah, track. Yeah, <laughs> Know what accountability is called in the music business? The fourth quarter. <laughs> Oh, man. Now, you gentlemen were saying. Tell me. Oh, tell it was a good time, man. Oh, no, they, they bodied it. Yeah, it was a, they packed the place out. You know, it was a, a nice little bougie place down the Lower East Side. About 500 degrees in there. Good DJs. They kept it rocking. About I wish y'all could hear my mind right now. <laughs> Yo, be a dick. Don't be a dick. Be a dick. Don't be a dick. Be a dick. Be a dick. Don't be a dick. Do it. Do it. No, no chill, chill, chill. Be, be kind. Be, be kind. Do it. Do it. Turn it shit up. Turn it shit up a notch. Man. These niggas is playing with you. <laughs> Yo. Oh, oh man. Man. <laughs> nah, it was a lot of fun. Shout out to nah, them. That was cool. That was dope. Open nice, bar. Nice oh, bar. man. Oh, shit. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh. 
Shout out to Need to Know, man. Shout out to all the niggas. <laughs> <laughs> that was shady as hell. Oh, man. A little, little pop. I might have to get to the bottom of that later. We, I ain't going to hold you. We'll see. We'll see. I got to see how I feel. <laughs> ain't just letting that go? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I hold on to the beef. We know. Oh, man. I hold on to the beef. That's why these niggas don't tell me when it's beef. Mm. Uh. I hold on to that shit. What you did, nigga? <laughs> you said what? <laughs> yeah, this guy is Sometimes fool. I just remember Oh, that nigga did that shit. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy that nigga did that shit. I like the little meme that's going around with the Irv face emoji. Hey, when I send you this, it mean I ain't over that stunt you pulled. 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> nigga Irv standing like that. Yo, men are so toxic. Men are oh, so toxic. Man. All right. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> you still stuck. Nah, I mean, I don't know if we want to start with that, but uh, you, you had mentioned something about shrooms, so it just... Me, y'all know how I feel about I, me. I love me tweets, tweets, man. Elite <laughs> tweets. Meek is the best, <laughs> Meek is the best tweeter in the world. Ever. It's up there. He's the best tweeter. Yeah, he up there with old fab. Yeah. He yeah. up there with old fab. I paused my outing when he tweeted this shit. <laughs> Not this one, the other one. When he would say, yo, somebody call Instagram, tell them turn our shit up again. <laughs> Now, granted, he is absolutely right he's in absolutely what he's right. saying. We, a few of us have realized that about Instagram uh, and their governor and just how they... Now, they playing over there. Yeah, we, yeah. you know what they doing you know what they over doing. there. Yeah. You know what they doing over there. But uh, he said, somebody call them and tell them to turn our shits up again. We know what's going on. Look, who do we pay to t- turn our social medias back up because they turned our reach all the way down. I need a, I need an Instagram rep or something ASAP. Best tweet in the world, yo. <laughs> <laughs> he got to, he got straight to it. Is what you gotta like about it. He's right. He, he don't be trying to be the best tweet in the world. Yeah. That, that's uh, why. That's what makes is, it great. Yeah, that's yeah. what makes it even better. Like I, I think, like some people be joking and this shit just be funny. Look, his next tweet. I took some shrooms and it made no, me no, no, strooms. Oh, strooms. <laughs> I took some strooms and it made me more smart, more happy, and have more love in my heart. Facts. I was gone cold. This shit like medicine. Yeah. Microdose vibes. I don't know if everybody brain structured for this, but it's some shit in these things. LOL. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hit it again. <laughs> hey, he's fucking Aaron Judge. <laughs> some shit in these things. Yeah, it is. It, it is. He's Hallucinogens. Right. <laughs> I was looking at the little chart that tell you like milligrams and what'll happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was, I was like, I'm good. Nah, you I got to start good. in the middle. What's the middle? I, the middle was like, it was like they they great. They Do you remember story. how many grams it was? You just seeing demons. Yeah, I need to see some. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm good. I need to see some. I mean, like the the last shit said ego death. I was like, well, I have to read what that is. <laughs> and when I read it, I was like, God damn! It was like a total break from reality. No yeah. break where you don't know what's real anymore, and you really see yourself. It's like it'll bring you to your rock bottom. I was like, oh, I'm shit. scared. That's like it could be a good time. Yeah, that could be a good time. Ego, ego death just sounds like a bald cat to me. A bald cat? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yo, you fucked me up. What? Animals, animals and their fur or whatever is on the actual skin is for their protection for them to be the animals. Mm. So that fur, it's like a porcupine with the, with the, uh, yeah, the quills, just the quills, a turtle with the shell. Like all the animals, I've been and I've been on YouTube. Yeah, just yeah, with yeah, animal yeah, staring. Animal. Y'all stop editing them fucking animals on YouTube to look bigger when y'all do the ten world's largest animal captures. And niggas, <laughs> them shit don't be big, yo. Nigga, make me mad. He lied for monetization. But, I didn't, yeah, didn't want to yeah. start here, but did so, you see the snake with legs? No. Oh, they put the, me? they put some legs on yes. the snake with the robot. I did. Hey, I did man. see this. It's all over. Uh, <laughs> Who excuse did? me. Humans one of them, here. one of them robotics companies, probably the same one that does the uh, the dogs and all that shit. Looks like it. Why? Why does the snake need legs? Hey, Sparks. Um, well, he don't have any. Humans <laughs> is different. <laughs> For some reason, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I might still have some edibles in my system. That makes sense though. <laughs> this is a funny part. Hey, yo, though. humans is different. Y'all dude. stupid. These Who different. just wake up and yo. say, you know what, that snake missing <laughs> legs. We could probably figure something out. Yo, who got PVC pipe. <laughs> See, look how great we can be when we never talk about music. Oh, <laughs> it say giving snakes their legs back. Well, they did used to have uh, legs, you know, prehistorically. 
Well, they so, still have uh, little spots, like in their in their skeleton and shit. Where it's like a little nub. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, fam. Look at this nigga face. <laughs> fam. Hey, Wait. Corey don't believe it. Says Dinosaurs. Who? Snakes with legs. You <laughs> think everything is just here. <laughs> snakes ain't had no damn legs, man. Nah, they you said evolution. Here, nah, they did say that. Yeah, no, for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah they, they said they, evolution when it came out the water. Because allegedly everything started in the water. It had some legs for a minute. <laughs> so it just said, fuck the legs. I don't need to walk ain't on land em. no more. They ain't need them. Y'all high as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand. You don't agree with that? No. <laughs> no. Oh, you don't see how it could be true. I don't know. But you don't see how that could be true? Anything could be true if they say it. And you're a Marvel Universe See, look at him guy. go. He's moving now. Look at this stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come Stop, because you know Erickson ain't going to put the shit in the screen for them to see it. No, nah, we need that, E. Dogs. Man, Why? Who like you just woke up, yo dog? What you doing today? Nah, let's put some legs on a snake. Now we are gonna mm-hmm. make this shit right, where the snake could just move around. Damn, I have to lead us somewhere, but this is intriguing. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty interesting. I want to know what else they doing. <laughs> so want me to tell you? <laughs> Mad shit. Like if you starting here, they're doing what? everything. Nigga, you listen to Reza Islam. <laughs> yes, hey, boy. He the only nigga I get scared when he texts me. Yeah. I, I would too. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That's I, my man. I, yeah, I want to talk to him, but yeah, I, I want to yeah. talk to him, but. I got bills to pay y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. I fuck with you hard body too, but I got I got bills to pay, fam. <laughs> Yo, what you mean? I don't, I'm not familiar with him. You I, serious? I, I, you, <laughs> I'm dead serious. Oh man, what you mean you got bills to pay? What like he 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 borderline is the next Malcolm. So I'm gonna just leave it that, right there, huh? That's a that's a lot. I'm just saying, like radical. If all right, y'all have to unpack this one at home. I'm good on, yeah. on y'all Twitch show. No, 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 hell no, hell no. And at whatever complex you working on, shout out to Rizzo. Yeah, yeah, shout out to everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Sick of the. Oh. Yo, I have to lead up somewhere. Yeah, let's let's. All right, we out of here. Oh shit, that was. Thank you, Parks. Oh, of course, man. What's happened? Um, the Cardi comedian B. passed. Rest in peace. Oh yeah. That started the, the news week off. The comedian Teddy, passed Teddy. Teddy Ray. Teddy Ray. Uh, the report says that the pool guy found him mm. and that he was he drowned. That's what the report says. Uh, well-loved, well-respected. Uh, the body of Southern California comedian Teddy Ray, whose death was widely reported over the weekend, was found floating in a swimming pool Friday, authorities said Monday. The pool is at a residence in Rancho, Rancho Mirage, California. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department said in a statement the area is near Palm Springs. I don't care why they're telling me this. Um, here we go. Uh, he identifies Ray as Theodore Brown, 32, and says he's a resident. 32, of, yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> resident of Gardenia, a city in the South Bay area of Los Angeles County. Yeah, that started the news week off for me because yeah. it was... It, the report was out there, and it wasn't confirmed, and it was confirmed. And then I ain't going to hold you, man. I, not to start this way. Let me just cue up outstanding. Mm-hmm. But you might, I got I to gotta just not watch the news. But then you're on the phone. They're going to find a way to get the news to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Between the crash in Chicago at, in the neighborhood where the car just zoomed and flipped three people and killed them. Mm. Where there's footage of this it's for you to see. There's footage of this for you to see. Flying in the air. Yes. This is coming off of me seeing the footage uptown of that, that uh, crash. That was yeah. where the two gentlemen. Yeah. You showed me that one. That was crazy. Lost their lives. <sighs> uh, I cannot seem to stop thinking about the coach losing his life at the youth football game Lord, in, in, in Texas That's with his crazy. son on the team. How do I get that out of my brain? That was Texas. That was Texas. Yeah. Okay. I have so many questions. Yo, I don't want to be nowhere, and I hate to sound like Mr. Gun Law in New York because I do see New York trying to get on some shit too. But that's a conversation for a later date. 
But I don't want to be nowhere where it's just allowed for you to have a gun at the youth football game. Right. That, that was the point I made when we were having our discussion. Like, fam, you, everybody can't control their emotions. Mm-hmm. Right? So if you got it on you and you one of those people, even if it's a legal gun, you got it on you. If you don't have it on you, it's not an option. You get what I'm saying? We'll yeah. fight. Everybody go home. We might even apologize tomorrow mm-hmm. or come to some level of understanding in a couple days. Mm-hmm. Death is so final, yo, that you don't get a chance to apologize. I don't want to be around nobody that's going to kill me over the Nash of the youth football, football game, game argument. Yeah. I don't, yo. Unbelievable. I don't want to be around there's nobody no that area brought a with... gun to the youth football game. I right. don't. I don't. Right. It's nine year olds here. What the fuck? What? They not. If I, if I knew, I would tell you to put it back somewhere. Word. Mm-hmm. There's an energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's real. The coach's son was on the team. Yeah, mm. I read that. My heart dropped. Mm. My the gentleman's heart. name was Mike Hickman, by the way. Yeah, coach. We'll say his name. Rest, rest in peace. Rest in, Mike. rest in peace. Coach Mike, they call him. Yeah. Unbelievable. They got footage of that too. Yeah. Which makes that even crazier. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, this shit is nuts. Yeah. Fam, let's say he missed him and hit a kid. Right. It's kids here. Yes. On the field. It wasn't even over there. It was on the field. Like, it's children here, bro. You bringing a gun to where children are? That's where we at in society? That's crazy, B. And as if the news couldn't have got any worse, then they tell me that a dude... A young young dude, seventeen year old dude, who killed his op last year. The mother visits the gravesite. The dude shows up on his birthday or, or death day. On, on the, the dude, the dead dude's birthday, knowing yeah, birthday, that his mother his might come visit him, and killed the mother. Kills the mother at the gravesite. Fuck, man. Dogs. I didn't hear that one. Mm-hmm. Fam, that's ridiculous. you can't make this stuff up. You can't you can't write this. Seventeen in real life. Seventeen year. I don't even like the way it's uh uh announced as ops. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I feel like that dehuman dehumanizes it. Mm-hmm. Like that's yeah. It's making it sound like rap songs instead of making it sound like but this that's dude killed rap, a fucking woman. We're not yeah. gonna go down this hole, but that's what the rap songs do. When you start t- talking about killing an op, you're not talking about killing a human mm-hmm. or a person or a man. It kind of desensitizes you. That was my point in what 21 had tw- uh, said about, yo, that's just entertainment. Well. Until it isn't. It's not. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not entertainment yeah. because technically y'all leading the people. Little kids look up to them, yo. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but that goes to your understanding of what music is, right? Like, I think I believe words to be spells, to be rooted in translation, to be like, there's just a lot that you can do. Yeah, yeah there's messages, all and types and of shit. Music is a universal language, you know what I'm saying? Where... Yo, look what we just did in the intro. <laughs> like, right. honestly. <laughs> True. Like, that's what I believe it to be. Some people may view it, hey, this is just entertainment. Just entertainment. Until it's not. Yeah, until it ain't no more. And it often is not. And a lot of times it's, it's even if it's entertainment, it's based in some real shit and realism. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, rest in peace. Sheesh. Rest in peace to everybody that lost their lost their lives. And I'm be trying to stay home. I'm Word. scared to death. I'm uh, scared to death to be out there. They call me bougie all they want. I'm I'm good. I'm staying out of certain areas where it could happen. Mm. It could happen anywhere, but. My heart beats so fast anytime I'm on the road and the, and the death truck is by me, the the oil truck, oh, the, yeah, yeah. the one like that's them. carrying all the gas, the big tank shit. Yeah, I don't like you that. You know one. the one, yeah, yeah, yeah I buddy. For that one. Oh, the tanker. I don't like any of them big trucks. To be honest with you, I shoot right by them. Yeah, but I think that shoot. one is literally called like the death truck. <laughs> one of wow, the nitroglycerin one, I think. Because if something goes wrong, if, if it crashes, that's your ass. Nigga, if, if a if an empty. 53 foot of crash, that's your ass. I get that's away a- from them too. <laughs> oh, you bugging out, Ice. Fam. I, I if know one of them about. big things, well, well, we can look this up on our off time, but if one of them big things full of gas explode on a highway, mm-hmm. that's bad, bad. Or even if it just leaks and then an accident happens, 
That's and bad, bad, fire bad, bad. Cars are flammable. Yeah, agreed. Full of flammable. Why materials. you think? Why you seem to be scoffing at the notion not, of that? No, no, I'm not scoffing at it. What I'm saying is they kind of protect it a little bit. Like even a crash, it it don't they happen as often lined, as you, right? Yeah, they it don't. Line. It don't happen as often as you might think. Them trucks get into crashes. Mostly, it'll be some spillage. It's an environmental hazard. They got to come call in a company to clean it up. But I'm talking about that explosion you talking about ain't as common as you think. Where I'm telling it, you, it is. I'm still trying to get. I'm away telling from you, it is. I'm telling you, a 53 foot truck period is is a problem if it crashes. It's a train. Yeah, it's a it's literally a missile. But I'm not refuting that. That's all I would say. It ain't I'm not gotta be that, that type of truck. Them trucks in general is bad news. I get away from them because they be uh, late late fight. late nights. High on some shit sometimes, trying to, you know, get the delivery off. Nah. And Jersey on 78. 78 is like, you know, yeah. it's a highway coming from California. Mm-hmm. They kind of take 80 and 78 to come across. Bro, they be hauling ass. It be a crash out there every day, yo. I'm good. I haul ass by them. I hate when I even see them in the fast lane. That's why, but this is why I don't, I don't I'm not going out to like festivals and shit. I, I'm viewing all of it as a mental health meetup now. Hmm. It's all a mental health meetup. I view it view it like the train. If you're taking the train, you are at risk of, open of a mental health meetup mm-hmm. down there. And that's a damn shame. They need to uh, up the security somehow on them trains, put the gates up, whatever the fuck they got to do. Yeah, nah. Ugh. Yeah, the news is scary, yo. It yeah, absolutely. it is. Absolutely. Uh, oh, Outstanding, please. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, I do got you somewhere. Wait. Bong. Yeah, because other, other places the train's got fucking glass in between the shit like before the track and you know have people actually go clean the shits out and as populated as New York they are some of them are cities not yeah. as pop but they're huge cities other big ass cities have clean subways London DC. Japan DC and then they put uh, uh, the actress the actress lady in the body bag and she wasn't dead and carried out there wasn't a body bag from what I read it was a um it prevents the skin from being exposed that's burned or something along those lines. Rest in, I don't know what's going on with her because they she reported her dead and then didn't report her dead and that was that was fucked up either way. No, she's dead uh, today. Rest in peace. And and Hesh. 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 Also, rest in peace to the Dodge Challenger mm. and Charger. It's a big loss. No more. Mm. It's over. Prayers up. Oh, As a man. guy who had a charger, mm. rest in peace to the charger and the challenger. There's a lot of y'all too. Think they doing this for electric vehicles? Yes. Yep. Yeah, from what yeah. I heard. Yeah. But well, I think they were I think they were forced into that. Mm-hmm. They're all being big forced business. Into it. I think so. I can't wait to get an electric vehicle though. I'm not gonna well, What's it. the truck? <laughs> the truck that they make the, too. Durango. No, the, the super fast the the Hellcat. All I mean, the um, track hawk. All that shit is they done. They killed the track hawk off. Yeah, well, I, they should have killed the track hawk off. Oh, I got to go on eBay then. No, they... <laughs> nigga. I'm going on eBay to get mine. They Wayf- up, Wayfair. They up. <laughs> right now. Wayfair. I'm talking about West Elm. 115, 120. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they... But yeah, nah, that shit shouldn't have been on the road to begin with. I'm sorry. How much you said they go? I'm sorry, 115 then. They putting 80 out there on top of the new range. I told y'all. Yeah. You shocked? Yes. Why? Why? That's been going on for two or three years now, dog. You should be used to it now. 80? Go try and buy a G-Wagon. Nigga, a G-Wagon is a G-Wagon. I'm just saying, A G-Wagon bends forever has only made limited a limited number of. Range is range. That is, that's your, that's your staple truck. You paying. putting eighty on top of the range? Niggas is paying a buck fifty over asking for the G's. And you can write off a G wagon because of the weight, right? right. Yes, because of the weight. The range too, the supercharge only. The supercharge. That's a lot of money. You are an elitist <laughs> <laughs> for buying for buying a range, the new one, or the new G wagon or something. Makes you elitist. No, just for understa- understanding that markup. <laughs> <laughs> for understanding that markup nah, and sure. being able to articulate it back to somebody. <laughs> that's that's the elitist part of that. Like just there's some listeners it. out there that's like eighty thousand dollars more than what it costs. <laughs> yes. Nah, that shit's sexy though. 
<laughs> Pan the camera over there. Yeah, yeah. get that shit up I, off of me. I, I got drive, a Honda Civic. I drive an F one fifty with smoke coming out the back. Terrence J just bought one for his girl. Now I gotta get mine one. <laughs> Look how stupid niggas is. Look, dumb. Look how stupid, stupid niggas is. Competing. Well, no, don't do that because I was getting the car anyway. Don't do that. I didn't say nothing. I was getting the car anyway. But then I saw how fly that shit was and I wanted one. <laughs> Super dope car. The interior is mean. That car is ridiculous. And this is not an ad. That car is sick. That's mean, though. Mm-hmm. Starting but at 80 grand on top of the new room. No, no, no. Starting. The starting is 105. No, you're paying about 220. Woof. <laughs> And that's the three liter. You pay. <laughs> Start at one. No, nah, you might could get the big boy for about two twenty. You might could do it if you get a good deal. All right, come on, to come on, let's move on. To, I'm getting sick to, of my stomach. To the millions yeah, of I can't even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the millions. You don't of relate to listeners listening. You talking about two twenty right. for an automobile? I wish I remembered what the lady said. What the what the the lady my the name the neighbor. lady I told y'all about. We was looking at some shit, and and we and and I was like, damn. It's, just, it's nice. You say, yeah, it's all nice, right? It feels good to work hard. Pulled that out. A little dentist line popped in my I said, oh, that's like a thing. <laughs> nah, that's like a thing up here. It's just work hard. That... I wonder if there's some dog whistling in that. And kind of. I mean. <laughs> that's interesting. I'm just... I don't think <laughs> It's a, it's kind of an elitist thing to say because you don't you don't think the, the uh, dishwasher at the restaurant works hard? You can't afford the fucking two hundred fifty thousand dollar car. Maybe not working hard enough. But, but you can if you work harder. Yeah, that's the point. You'll work hard and somebody else work hard is two Shout different. Shout to dishwashers. Them boys work hard. Nah, some dishwashers turn into restaurant owners. True. Because for me, the, the the hard part of working hard is learning how to work smarter. True. But and that's hard work. But to imply that people that aren't rich don't work hard is elitist. That's I, agree. I agree. That's I agree. Saying. I don't think that's what they're saying, little, though. There's a little clip floating around right now. I don't think right that's now. what they're saying. Wait, what? That might not think, be the implication. I don't think they're saying that you're not you're not rich because you don't work hard. It's just saying that you if you're not where you want to be, work harder. Work harder. There's always another level. Yeah. For sure. So I don't think that's elitist. But it can, come saying, off, it can come off as elitist. And sometimes, back to the, is that dog whistling, a dog whistle? I think it can be. That's all I'm saying. It, it could be. But if I live right next door to you. I get both sides of this. Mm-hmm. That's like the fucking other meme that was floating around that said, yo, I'm, I'm not bragging or stunting. I'm excited about where my life is. Like, this is just my life. I'm not trying to shit on nobody. But Some people be trying to shit on somebody, though. <laughs> yeah, but, but not all. Yeah, but not that's, all. That's, not that's all. corny. The, not girl, all. the girls can flip that and put their own one up. No, this is not a thirst trap. I just look this way. I ain't mad at it. I'm just saying, they flipped your little saying. What is it? It's a thirst trap, though. I've seen, I've seen a few of those. <laughs> that is a thirst trap. I hate when the girls get a hold of some shit. This guy says every eat. picture over the shoulder. It's cool. Oh, God. Nah, speaking of... Sorry. I oh, wait, wait. Before oh, we leave this, because there's also a clip floating around of some guy who's supposed to be real intelligent uh, and forcing... But we uh, never know if they are, yeah, by we, the way. What, what's he, <laughs> we what, never what, know. What class is he selling? But he started doing... doing he said, I got a nine double thing. I mean, this is his version of work harder. I got the nine double thing. Uh, if you And he started doing some, if you take a dime and you double it nine times, then you have this amount. If you do the same thing with $1,000, you double it nine times and you have this dollars. amount. At, no amount. matter what it is, no matter what number it is, if you double it nine times, starting from a penny, this is where you end up with. So how could you not want to try to double your money if that's what the country was built on? And no. you do that with a penny... Ten dollars, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, a million dollars, a hundred million. It never stops. <laughs> some, some folks don't got the penny to double. No, what he's saying is, yeah, I feel you though. I know the dude you're talking about. He basically says that if you flip your money and get a hundred percent return nine times, mm-hmm. if you took a thousand dollars, I think you had a million. Mm-hmm. If you maybe more, maybe that a ain't bill- the it might be thing a billion to... though, yo. It might be a billion. He he broke it down. Yeah, it might be a billion. I could find the I clip. I forgot it, but... But that but, ain't the easiest thing to expect. Even yeah. if it's not, it still should be a... A goal, sure. A goal. Yeah. Like, and when you say, yo, it's not the easiest thing to do, or nah, he dumb, or yo, no. everybody can't, but it's you not immediately the, shut it down. But it is not the easiest thing to do, to to my opinion, in my opinion, by design. Sure. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody can't... No, we don't want everybody to do it. That's that is yeah. the design. Yes. Absolutely. No, I we mean, need we need low level workers. Well, not we. I'm saying the yeah the, the world the wealthy the world. Yeah. yeah. If everybody could be 
the best podcaster in the world. We don't have jobs. Why? Because now, then, our, then they then then they would come and join me. <laughs> <laughs> then I would have seniority. <laughs> Hey, welcome, you new niggas. <laughs> Y'all is dope, but I've been dope. <laughs> Me said, "What the fuck is this talking about?" I said, "Everybody." <laughs> I don't understand. Y- your demand isn't as high. You always anytime I'm you get the numbers, oh, you, you man, beat me. But yeah. I don't, when I'm and in my right. artsy world, I don't get nah, what the fuck you cool. be saying. It's high. Let's out. <laughs> Rock out. You got it, Playboy. But no, I, 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 he's dope. The dude is making sense. Okay. It's motivational more than literal. No doubt. No. Right, because that's oh. what it's just getting you to that point where maybe I can I can't today. I don't have the penny to double. Mm-hmm. Maybe next week I got it. And hearing that put me on track to try to get. But it. even if you don't do. have the penny, you got to double your nothing. You got to double your hundred. You got to double. Yeah, you got to. You got to double your nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah don't be right. easy yeah. for. That's everybody. why just be motivation. Like like you said, it's just a mindset to put you to change your way of thinking. To progress yourself a little bit, yeah, you I, can stay here and stay stuck. I put my head down and get to work. Same and sometimes always that always means been. just sitting in thought, isol- in isolation. Sometimes that means clearing the space and the energy. Sometimes that means getting your insides right, going to work out, or just getting a different. Tr- sometimes that means taking a trip to do the exact same thing that mm-hmm. you pay your rent or mortgage to do at home like mm-hmm. that involves so many it, it involves the do not disturb on the phone for a little bit mm-hmm. like a lot goes into this shit mm-hmm. a lot goes mm-hmm. into it no question right. to get to, to get to the work no question i'm right. sitting here now we in august i'm i'm wait, i'm waiting for september october let's get to it fourth mm-hmm. come on i'm ready mm-hmm. <laughs> shit is exciting to me nah that focus be different for everybody yeah that's dope that's true some niggas work out but you're right cuz when i see a nigga that don't got it I understand how, how that how it, how it balances mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. I understand, and I've been the guy that didn't had it and couldn't figure it out for years and years and years until I figured it out, worked through it. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you don't have a choice. You know what I'm saying? To, to not be able to double your money, you gotta do what you, you gotta, gotta do, do to get by. You gotta do what? You gotta do what you gotta do to get by. Gotta work harder. Gotta work harder. That's and that's true. that's yeah, it. That, that's that's it. the bottom line. You gotta that's work it. harder. Work that's harder. True. And that's why I'm not mad at nobody's people get mad. Oh, you're yes, yeah, easy for this person to say because she's up here. Well, like, oh, nigga, I'm trying to. They trying to get to another level too. That's true. It took one time that accountant saying to me, "Well, you need seven, eight streams of income to get to a millionaire, right?" And he was saying this, and I had, I ain't gonna have shit, <laughs> <laughs> have shit. So when he said it, I'm like, damn, I got about half of one. I ain't even got the one that my sure. one ain't like the big joker. <laughs> <laughs> I got one that. Requires a lot to to get to it, mm-hmm. nigga. Cutting. I nigga. better fucking go sell a comic book or nigga go. cutting clubs. My one gone. <laughs> Dog, I'm out of here. That ace of clubs that I counted. That's <laughs> gone. Yeah, yeah. That, that that's where the thought came in. Mm-hmm. Shit. What else can we do? Mm-hmm. You're fucking right. I'm selling sneakers. I took some sneakers up to Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I started taking sneakers up there. You serious? Yeah. I had to do something. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, you shitting me? I'm proud of that. We wasn't going to keep going out and just to the strip club every night and niggas ain't going to come up with a plan. Yeah, I would have died feeling stupid. I would have died feeling stupid. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Damn. Wasted my time. Hanging out with all these smart and talented mm-hmm. motherfuckers. Did it, did it wrong. Didn't figure out nothing. <laughs> that, that yeah. Was, no, that's the important piece. Yeah. The associations be the important piece. Oh, oh yeah, you, absolutely. Yeah, all right. He's not I ain't real, me out. He's not no, real. he is. He is. He's right. Yeah. He is. Uh, that shit be real. All of it is important. It all is, yeah. That's a fact. Work ethic, networking, all that shit. And luck. Sometimes you can have all that. You still need a little piece of luck. Luck is the uh, intersection of yeah, what right, they say preparation that, whatever, and hard work or some shit. they say about that shit, sometimes a nigga just get lucky. Fuck and, that. And luck will put you fuck in the luck. right place. I right. don't fuck luck. Part of being good is being lucky. Yeah, hell yes. You can't be say good what without what you want to say. What? I didn't say a word, fam. You disagree? Part of being good is being lucky. Mm-hmm. Depend on the day. Well, that's why it's luck. No, I'm saying depend but on you the day be good if to I get agree. It. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> Yo, there's so much shit that I could bring up that would like, God, get nah, you good. I'm just saying like... Uh, what is it? Pre- when preparation meets hard work, I believe something like that. Preparation meeting something is opportunity. Luck. Opportunity. No, I. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna no. do it because we part. I'm gonna turn, no, turn this shit up. No, man. Hell no. Turn it's up, been times where the cop, 
The cop pulled the car in front of me over, but had he pulled me over, it's an issue. I was lucky that he pulled that that's car what over I'm and saying. not me. When it, that's it, not preparation. Yeah. That's not none of that because yeah. I wasn't prepared to get pulled over. That's a different context. Let me ask you. I'm just saying luck in uh, general. Don't change luck the context. Exists. You, you that's it. luck. Luck exists, Wait, But dog. that's what I'm about to say to you. You got a story where you was in New York, unlicensed, maybe it just expired Seven or some million shit, something them. like that. Mm-hmm. And when you tell that story, if you get a little bit of luck in there... It goes different. It goes different. That's all luck. It's luck. Go ahead. Now, you right, or you just might be a matter of circumstance, but had I properly planned, I wouldn't need that luck. Had you been going a proper speed limit, you wouldn't need that luck. If your paperwork was right, you wouldn't need that quote-unquote luck. That's your own preparation that you did to maintain everything and make sure it was right. I'm still saying that the luck existed. That's all. Correct. I could go back and say if if this 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 didn't happen, it wouldn't matter. Mm-hmm. But those things didn't happen. I'm here now. We in the moment. Cop speed trap right there. Mm-hmm. He didn't pay attention, or he just he waved, pulled the, he yeah, waved, he waved me on. on. That was luck. Nothing else. You got it. You guys are great. You got it. Remember, I got locked up in New York. Past this. I know. I walked you to the door, and you still ain't tell the story. <laughs> I walked you right no, there. I'm just saying, I, I couldn't I, put I don't, that ball I don't closer how, to the rim. But I don't see how the luck conversation played into that. Like, I, I ain't have a license. I was driving with a suspended license that was, I ain't know in New York, too. When you got a suspended license in Jersey, they give you a ticket. In New York, sir, could you step out of the car for a chance behind your back? That was new to me. For for a suspended like I'm looking at him like yo you ODing. The thing about luck is people often use it as a either a crutch or a slight. Meaning, X, Y, you got lucky that you're friends with Joe. Ice. Good one, Parks. But is that was that luck, or did you become friends with him for whatever reason? You're helpful, you're, you're a nice person, you're kind, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Or people also use luck as, man, I just haven't got my lucky break yet. And that's a reason to just keep hoping for a lottery ticket. I'm agreeing with you. Get that boy some pow pow, yo. But what he, I'm saying he, he is cooking. luck still ex- like an example that I give. I want to give him some pow pow. I'm stuck on the ice is lucky to have met me. I'm just, yeah, it was just an example. It doesn't have to be. Throwing it out. Yeah, just throwing it out. Some people would say, he's right. People have attacked me for just being friends with you. Oh, if it wasn't for Joe, you're friend, you know, stupid shit. So I get that. I'm saying, like, I, I, luck, all I was saying was luck exists. Period. It does, yeah, sure. It that does was exist. It. And sometimes I, it's just a little bit. I, I'm using. Grave situation here, like I said. Yeah, I'm with the, the possible incarceration a, yeah, situation. He could have said, I'm yo, with, this car pull over. I'm with you. I just, in the context of uh, 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 work ethic or business, I think that it's used often as a crutch or a slight. It is. And, and on the flip of that is sometimes just that luck could have you in a room that you might not have been. I, it could have hit me and said, yo, dogs, I'm going to such and such. Right? Mm-hmm. Hold on, hold on. Okay. It's gonna hit me and say, yo, dog, I'm going to such and such. You wanna roll with me? I right, bet. There's a person there that's been looking to get in touch with ICE but didn't know how to. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, you're here. I got an opportunity for you and I've been trying to find a way to reach you. It was just luck that I happened to be with him. That's not my preparation. That's not planning. That's not none of it. Everything else, the hard work put me on that person's radar, but the luck put me in the room because I wasn't planning on going there. I don't it was, know if that's luck. <laughs> How's it not luck? It's a fine line because guess what? Your preparation for whatever they looking at you for met the opportunity. Mm-hmm. So you it was an opportune time to meet that person. Your preparation for whatever they was looking for you for, that's what they say. Luck is when prep meets opportunity. And if you're if you're hardworking and talented or any combination of the two things, you are eventually gonna land in a room. It's not luck. It's because you're working hard at doing some shit. When it all comes together with the timing, that yeah. person right then and there, it, sometimes it's just luck. I don't like it. People say, damn, as luck would have it, I walked into you here. That's where it come from. Y'all luck haters. <laughs> yeah, y'all niggas <laughs> haters. Yo, y'all too, sometimes why niggas y'all haters, lucky, nah, why nah, y'all nah, haters against it's, luck? Nah, it's a fine line. I'm just saying, I see ISIS point and I see I see. I see point. I'm just saying I just that, think that exists. Look, if, 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 if you got me an interview at Whatever. Nigga, I still have to land the job. Correct. That's my preparation. Now, you got me an opportunity, but my own preparation got me to to 
fulfill whatever. You are who you are. I don't think that's at, luck. At, at your core. I don't Lord. think luck has anything to do with your example. It does. No, I don't see it. I don't because see luck. The, luck, anything the to lucky do with piece that. is, yo, you know Joe Button, and he got you in that room. Mm-hmm. Everybody don't know Joe Button, so everybody couldn't get in that room. Mm-hmm. You being with Joe got you in that room. That's yeah. not. I don't. Yeah. People that's will how attribute some that people to luck. attribute that. Well, that's the, people, like you said, that's using yeah. it as a slight or a crutch. Yeah. yeah, I'm not using it as either. I'm just talking. That's about corny just, luck. Just I, the I, existence, that's corny luck. I'm talking about just the existence of luck. Yo, it's the fly luck, yo. I was lucky when that kid tried to shoot me in the head in the gun jam. Exactly. No doubt. Indeed. <laughs> Nothing else. That wasn't no preparation. That what? That was luck. That kid could have fired that gun a hundred times and it went off. Pure luck. Divine intervention, <clears throat> if you want to call it that. I was about to look at Corey and say, now was that God? Also, <laughs> also, also. It's a shitty gun. Also. <laughs> they ain't clean it. Also. Round of applause. Oh had that entire Jersey City conversation and didn't highlight that Albie is home. Word? Oh, word. Albie oh, is clap home. Clap it again. That's what's up. That was great news to wake up to. Hell yeah. And there's video footage out. Made me happy. He's dope, man. Very dope. Somebody said. So who was that? They said such and such need Albie lawyer, yo. Trump? No, somebody else. One of them, one of them rappers. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, shout out to Jersey, shout out to Albie. Yeah, we're, 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 uh, we we're talking about we, luck. Yeah, yeah, we impact luck. It. Come on, we could uh, we could talk about Capri Suns. <laughs> I love a snow slow news week. <laughs> <laughs> I love when some of our favorite drinks since childhood are made with cleaning solutions. Yeah, <laughs> first Skittles, now this. It's some bullshit, yo. See, but this is where I this is where I'm gonna sound nuts, or not. Because nine times out of ten, I'm going to agree with you. Go ahead. This is probably the ten. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. Y'all know I be... I support some scammers, yo. Y'all, there's certain scams, if you thought of it, that was pretty cool. And some of these laws should be changed. Big Meat should be home. Like, just, I just support certain shit. If some nigga somewhere found out that the best drink in the world needs a little cleaning solution... Then I, I, just I hope that's not the 10th. This is, this is the 10th. I, I, I told you. Yo, they, right. somebody at least should get a pound behind the scenes for saying, yo, dog. Yo, we never thought to drink Clorox. Hey, I told you on the Boeing dock, the new company came in. They started making the Boeing without wings, without metal. Them shit was crap falling out what the they sky. Used, like, the little snake walker <laughs> they thing? Was, they was bugging. <laughs> they, oh, did, y'all have to see that dock. Dog, please equate the dock to the... <laughs> Lysol and the Carissa fit. When when companies do things to cut costs and cut overhead and mass produce, sometimes we don't know all that goes into that. That's true, what I'm true, saying. True. I can't think of another reason why cleaning solution would be well, in Capri Suns. Five five thousand yeah, seven hundred sixty cases lot. of uh, Capri Sun have been recalled after being contaminated with cleaning solution. Now nah, that's one bodega, nigga. <laughs> what are you talking about? That nah, one shot right. That's a lot. <laughs> Some a nigga lot. somewhere <laughs> <laughs> said, "All yeah, right, you know, nah." It's a little spicy. <laughs> A little, a little taste he might have had a beef with Capri Sun. Oh, you only sent me seven boxes. I right, watched this thing. I don't know what he did. <laughs> Approximately, let's see. Uh, Kraft Heinz said in a statement that a clean, and that's when I paused there. I'm like, right there. fuck, they do own them. Mm-hmm. Ketchup. Sheesh. I didn't no, know Capri Sun was ketchup. Or, I knew or, that. What a patriot. I knew that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now, I mean, he, he just, smoked that. It's a different type of money for him. <laughs> it's just a different money. See what I mean? Yeah, I'm just going. I'm gonna sell cheese, Capri Sun, <laughs> Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> just out here. We just out here, fam. That's fly. And y'all bothering me about my little Again, Florida jerk escort? Jerk off? What? If y'all, if y'all my head need, need to be clear to get all this guac. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Ain't nothing like a nut to get your head clear. <laughs> you right. Yeah, fam, that's better than a jog, no? No, no, you right. <laughs> that's all I never understand. That's the that's semen retention right. guys, man. That's you hold on to that for you getting cloudy. Quiet <laughs> to you love birds. Getting cloudy, bird. <laughs> getting oh cloudy man. Getting cloudy. This is also after the guy came here and told y'all why he's holding his semen. Definitely. Y'all so ignorant. It makes sense. <laughs> nah, that's my man. It makes sense. 
Uh, cleaning solution used to treat food processing equipment was inadvertently introduced into a production line at one of our factories. The issue was discovered after it received several consumer complaints about the product's taste. Yeah, I got one of them juices, yo. <laughs> nah, my shit was tasting funny. Tasting a little soapy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in on that class action Class shoot. action. <laughs> hey, let's get together. Everybody, Reach out. Everybody go to $40. <laughs> Shut up. Right. <laughs> That'd be the bullshit. Free Capri right? Sun for a week. Oh, yeah, we'll replace the yeah, case. You, you play yeah. around. Some, some of these, a lot of black families out there that was raised off that settlement money that the family got. <laughs> Not class action. <laughs> yeah. Class action. class action. You don't Them get nothing. You don't yeah, get, you you get, get 87 cents. I'll be mad when I get the email. Like, yo, if you just sign up for this, we'll give you $20. Like, yo, nah. I don't you got to take my up. data yep. and sell that shit to make your $20 back. <laughs> nah. I'm cool. Settlements is dope. Not these. Yeah, class action ain't shit. Yeah, I take a settlement, though. But no, nah, this is scary, dog. I take a settlement heartbeat. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. There's a video. Yo, so, everything shouldn't be on video, yo. I've seen too many videos. There's a dude filming an accident with a taxi. Uh, two girls driving. Uh, taxi crash into him. Boom! He say, uh, yo, that was bad. Yo, I ain't. <laughs> they say, yeah. He said, all right, we about to get paid. He, he get in he the back. He got in the cab. He, get in, he, get, <laughs> oh, he got in the backseat of their car. <laughs> yeah, he got in the car. Said, yo, oh, I see it. <laughs> oh, we is bad. Yo, yo hold on, right? <laughs> he started <laughs> acting in the car. <laughs> I've seen too many videos. I saw it. I saw it. Oh, that means you what, see too many what's, videos. What's the problem? Nah, nah niggas used the to problem. do that when the get bus. Get out of the car, stranger. Yo, when the bus would Delete crash. Delete the video. Nah, when the bus would crash, the niggas would get on the bus. Yeah, nigga. Everybody was on him. That's my, luck. My neck, my back. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bus crashed in front of me. Look, thank you, God. Look at that. <laughs> Listen to this. Look at video. that. I could have been home when this bus crashed. Uh, I was right here. Uh, yo. You ignorant, son. Yeah. Whatever. Yo, you, you about to be an elitist too, yo. No, I'm not. Tell me about the uh, Nip stream. Oh, yeah. They had the uh, live stream up for Nip, Nipsey's um, Hollywood fame. Walk of Fame unveiling. Mm -hmm. It was pretty dope. They and had, it was his birthday. Yeah, day. and it was, his, it was his, uh, what, what would have been his 37th birthday. Mm -hmm. And they had a guest. They had Lauren London get, walked up and gave a speech. Um, his sister, Samantha, gave a speech. His dad gave a speech. And his grandmother Yo, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't think it was a dry eye out there. They said the mm. grandmother had everybody in tears. Bro, I was at home like, damn, like she didn't talk long either. Um, you know, and, and they they made a pro proclamation that it's Nipsey Hustle Day, so it was a real, real, real good look. A lot of turnout. Like, you know, this is a, a Los Angeles legend, mm -hmm. like, and it's it's good to see a city give back to you like that. Like he poured into L.A. a lot. No question. I thought Sam would speak, but he didn't. But no, this was this was an amazing thing to watch. Just seeing how his legacy continues to live on. Everything he stood for, they're still pushing for, still trying to, you know, somebody that really tried to make a change in the community. Mm -hmm. And it's good to see that that didn't die with him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The people that are around him are still trying to push it. We're still going to achieve your goals in your name, the way you were doing it. Mm -hmm. So... So Gotta really, love it. Yeah, really. Yeah, I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna watch this. I missed it live though. Yeah, I saw a tweet and they were like, yo, the live stream is starting now. So I stopped and I was like, I now I have to watch this. Mm. Says grandma body. Yeah, grand grandma's speech was like I said, it was very short. She might have been up there two minutes, but it was a prolific right there and had everybody just sad. But I, like hate, a to good get, sad. I hate to get morbid or deep mm -hmm. right now. Rest in peace, Nipsey, of course. But Cause I was, this reinforces my theory that something, something in life will tell you about your death, your death. What you mean? Like Nipsey uh, was 36. He was a genius, mm. uh, motivational speaker. Some of the things he preached about. Again, my dad was beating me down this morning about Bill Russell mm. uh, and just how, what he was going through during segregation in the South, like just, it's just a different type of man. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think something about how you live or something that's in your life will tell you about your death. Same with Pac. Like your death, it's a part of your life. It is. Mm. And it's, it's, pa it's, there's paranoia in that. 
Your death is a part of your life. I mean, it is. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Nah, I never thought about it. That's, 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 you, boy. I was watching, I was watching, uh, here's a perfect example of what I'm saying. I was watching Kobe footage again. And what does everyone know uh, to be synonymous with Kobe Bryant? Hardest worker ever. Mm-hmm. Worker, commitment to the game. Oh, y'all don't want to practice, get out the gym. Mm-hmm. Uh, take my sneakers off. You didn't perform well. Black Black Mamba. Mm-hmm. Like, that's who we know him to be. Probably one of, one of those, like, who else was like that? Yeah. He was like, he's only him. he's that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, only him in basketball. Only so him. all of that preparation is probably what it was going to take to hold your youngest daughter during an heli- a helicopter crash. I can't imagine being the person that had to hold my youngest child knowing that our fate, our demise was near and having to. It's going to be all right. That's deep. That gets deep. Extremely. Y'all think y'all could do that? Yeah, you fucking us up. Come on, B. Yeah, let's change yeah. it. I ain't going to hold you, Joe. I'm sorry. You still got outstanding right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I, I got you. Standing, outstanding. Yeah, you wild. Some type of standing. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Nip, Kobe. To everyone in that helicopter crash. Everyone that was affected. Okay. What is that that you want me to read there? What's something happy? That what's something that will bring happiness? This, this, the sports bet books have a wager on who Kim Kardashian's next boyfriend will be. That's, <laughs> that's funny and happy. <laughs> <laughs> Two to one on ish. It's like nah, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> hey Alex, you heard him? I'm playing. Fam, look at the numbers. They got niggas' names up there for real. You said two to one on Ish. Nah, yeah, I'm thinking. I was, I was a joke, thinking, nigga. I'm trying to think what the odd would be on Ish. It's not gonna be two to one. You think Ish can do something? No, I don't think so. Ish can't bag nothing like that. I don't think he got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool, stop. I'm not reading this list. What do you want me to say? I know who a boyfriend is. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all think got the nigga name? <laughs> Yeah, the fuck. That's crazy. Come on, y'all. Want to talk? Meg the Stallion says that that's not the same flow. It's just her accent. Huh? What happened? <laughs> say that again. Meg, flow. Meg the Stallion said that that's not to the people that accuse her of that. Ebro asked her, "What do you say to the people who say that you have one flow?" Oh. And she says, "Not that I have one flow. It's my accent. So y'all have a difficult time understanding. I mean, how I pronounce certain things, and my voice is heavier here, and I just can't help it. Like that's what she said." I think you could probably come come up with a better excuse than that one, I think. Does she know what flow is? Well, accent can dictate flow yeah, a little bit. I, I got a little... It can. A little admission. A little what? Can you speak come on. Ad- louder? Admission. What's up? What's up? What's your admission? Come clean, man. I listened to the album. <laughs> you heard the album? <laughs> no, oh, no. Come on, come on. Come wow. on. We need some buttons, yo. <laughs> we need to get all that shit. I'm trying, I'm trying to do my job better, yo. You found a CD? You get a real applause. Uh, tape. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Side A. No, I, nah, I heard it. It's um, it's like three bangers, like really good. So I might play one as a sleeper. Okay. That's how much I liked one of the songs. But it's all. I was gonna come in here and talk about it, but they gonna kill me. The young people. Mm. It's really the same as every new rapper. They are like if you a young person, it's not a bad album. For the for their demo, it's not our demo because we used to lyrics and rap. But she talk about the same. You, you bought it? Sh- no, nigga. She talk about the same <laughs> shit every single song. Where ha- where were you? In the car. <laughs> Look at your face. Windows yeah, down. Nah. <laughs> nah, yeah, hold on. Yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah buddy. Come right, on. I'm trying to think how to scene. ask and, this and without I'm, without I'm hate. Tra- yeah, I'm trying without to hate. Yeah. That's yeah, what I want to ask. <laughs> you was alone. Yeah. And you played. The whole Meg album. Yeah. On what? I listened to half of it on a on long ride drive. to work today. On what? Where was you My driving? Car, you was man. coming from Boston? <laughs> Where was you coming from? Well, I'm saying you like, said, you don't you know have what? none of this shit. You don't have Nah, you, because you have... this is what happened. Everybody was talking about it all weekend, about how good the album is and how we such haters because the album was dope. We hated it. When did we say it's not? Yeah, y'all going to me, album. make me start telling the truth. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, go ahead. Come on. So, when did we hate on the album? I don't remember hating we, on. The we album. talked about the album on Friday. 
Correct. A little bit. But none of us nobody, heard that. Nobody heard that. I didn't hear no album. I didn't. Bro, I'm talking about what the people said. So I went to go listen to the album because I thought it would be Where? revisited today in my car. Your algorithm's different from mine. <laughs> that might be. But he don't got none of the stream. I'm, all right, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on, I get don't have to listen to music on the stream app. Continue. So, um, <laughs> oh man, can y'all say something? I'm waiting. Johnny I'm, asking I'm me. This is a, come so on. So I'm telling you that for a young person, let's say I was a 28 year old girl, this album is what they are accustomed to. Well, that's a demo. I know. And so for them, it smacks. For us, because we want to hear a little bit more tricky lyrical shit. No, we don't. Musically inclined. But go ahead. <laughs> you might like it, actually. I probably will. Yeah, when I, I get to listen to it. You might like it. I, I might for will. me, it wasn't necessarily for me, but I see how they were championing the album. Niggas mm. were saying the shit was dope. And it wasn't half bad if you, them. That's what I'm saying. The production was cool. The lyrics is just the same fucking lyric every album. Pussy good, wet, deep. Pay for my bag. <laughs> like, yo, you going, I'm going to fuck you if you pay. Like, that's literally every song. That, that was getting you in your driving groove. <laughs> yeah. Which one you turned it up on? Uh, the best song? Which one had you like, oh. Her. You'll like it too. Play it, yo. Cause this nigga, you going to like this it. Nigga. I hate when, God, let me. I bet you you like it. I bet you you like it. I don't even like our bet. Word. Now, now I might not like it just yeah, to win the bet. Yeah, word. Oh, you got a part? Yo, yeah, Ish, where you was at, oh. man? You, I was in my car. Yeah, it's nah, something oh, in this story. Man, we missing oh, something. Yeah. Oh. I'm chilling, though, because that's my man. I so we heard the whole Meg album. Ish, where you was at, yo? In my car. Yo, yes, yo. yo no, something what is, is wrong missing from the story. <laughs> I know what's missing, but <laughs> yeah, word. What's missing? I think I know what's missing. The too. truth. Nigga. <laughs> 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 now let the hook rock. Ish. <laughs> Tell us the truth, yo. Antoine. <laughs> you want me to slap to this? <laughs> The same song. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna do it for the. Cause they. Parks. This is an audio broadcast. If Beyonce had this song with this baseline track and all that, everybody in here be. Bobbing not not everybody. No, not everybody. You be bobbing your head. I was bobbing my head just now. Oh, I was about to say music is undeniable. This is good music. No. Yeah, it's cool. She had a different flow in this too. Just for the record, she did. That's why I didn't get that whole other argument, but. This is a good single. Yeah, it's a good song. This and it's going to work. This is a good single. It's definitely going to work. Especially right now. I could see every girl modeling in front of a mirror. It's her. Saying her. her. She, she. They're going to TikTok yeah. the hell out of this. Is, this is, y'all this know is, that is going her. through the roof. This is scientist music, if that's what you're saying. <laughs> this is... The machine? This is a writer's camp. Writer's camp. Algorithm music. Algorithm yeah. music. That's what it is. This is what they're making. It wasn't yeah. bad though. I'm with you. It wasn't bad. Yeah, I'm not. It's not for me. Yeah, that's where I was stuck on. Where does he? Where am I gonna li- listen to this? I'm j- the same place you would listen to Drake album. The same place you would listen to some of them Beyonce songs. It has the some of the same cadence. Look at me. I'm learning. Some I know. Shit. We me and Barks <laughs> taught you a word or two. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know here. what I'm saying? But dog, it's 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 basically in line with all of the dance music that. We've been championing in the last two months. Was this whole album uh, dance no. like this? Okay. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I'm. T- that's why you asked me what song. I said this one. This is a dope song. I'm not mad at it. Oh, not okay. for me. Yeah, I'm not going to start my shower off with this one. <laughs> or when I get out the shower. Or when I get in my car. <laughs> or my driver's car. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna say it off mic. <laughs> it's cool, guys. Proceed. Then, but then I'm gonna say something off mic. <laughs> All right, proceed. Then I'm gonna say something off mic. Proceed. Uh, how man. about that one? Oh man, we, we gonna talk. All yeah, we gonna, we gonna. Hey, fans, <laughs> the fans. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a crazy. Sometimes you tell a story without telling one, man. <laughs> <laughs> or you guys make up one without guys being there. Anyway, fam, go ahead. Moving on. So they say she's going to do 50000 in her first week. That's very low. And this nigga know numbers. <laughs> this nigga was New-ish. with... New-ish. He was with a Meg. He was with... <laughs> I was with a Stallion. Oh, my God, yo. Yo. Is it... Hey, what's wrong? He, been, he done did over 100 pods. Now he know numbers, <laughs> cadences. Oh, 
Mahomes. Yo, that little mixer. He, that's a, the mixer. Oh, that's what's all that, effective. Uh, oh, mixer. Uh, <laughs> that was clicking. You was with the, the L.E.S. Young Girls. And that's what it was? The Need uh, to Know Girls. <laughs> the Need to Know Girls. They put a word uh, in there. Look, look, look that how you nasty ass and now got out of the house. I got a work event. I got to head out to a work event, baby. I'll be right back. Yo, that shit ain't dope when it's baddies at the work event. Don't nobody know? I didn't know they was going to be there. No, it was work. It was work. Yeah, it was work, right, Alex? Bro, I you went know to them niggas hang out with the guys, little... And I got there mad late. Yeah, was like, like that nigga. We the number one podcast in the fucking world. What time do you think we showing up to the mixer? <laughs> That's a good point. But I uh, forgot all about the mixer. I'm mad. I'm mad you... You know what I mean? <laughs> Should have showed up a little later. My <laughs> Now, in the merit of bad news, if there were a fucking bomb to blow up at the mixer, I am coming in to do a podcast, and I have no idea. I lost my entire staff. Yo, where's your this <laughs> brain? Because he's stuck on the fact that everybody went and he ain't he just wanted us to get. I would watch the news and say, "That is just my luck." <laughs> <laughs> that is just See, my luck. That's luck. I have lost my. I am unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit then your brain How would I explain that Something like that Would happen to me <laughs> Yo just chill man oh, Come on come on Yeah knock on shit Knock on shit Knock on shit Knock on shit Come on, shit. Knock on, shit. Uh, come on. all types of shit God damn <laughs> Nigga can't even just try To get better at their job <laughs> No, no, I salute you, no, no, you yeah, yeah. You, him. Him you know what's another proud of you for that. I'm proud of you honestly Nigga throw a menage my way this <laughs> here, y'all. Yo, boy. I ain't heard nobody say nothing about no menage. <laughs> Wait, somebody threw a menage your way? You and Ice. What? 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 Y'all said I had six young baddies. That sounds car. crazy, though. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, re- gotta re- <laughs> reword that or something. But me being compared to I, I took offense to that. That sounds absolutely disgusting. Yo, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Assholes, <laughs> man. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, what's wrong oh, with y'all, yo? Shit. Jesus, man. Oh, man. Oh, that's man. Guys, insane. That dance music started All right, seeping so, in. So, so, so what do you think? 50,000? <laughs> give it to give it up. Take us home. Yeah. I think that's... Uh, we and me and this Parks is- ain't teach you that part. How to close the topic, nigga. <laughs> How to close the music topic. Say, that's him. Huh? We didn't give you all the jewels. It, it sure <laughs> I think the label was super disappointed with all of the looks that they've gotten her over the Oh, sh- yo, yo, <laughs> who is this girl, yo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, t- holy shit. <laughs> hey, yo, what's wrong with this you guy, man? You think yeah. the, <laughs> that nigga told us the how label. the label feels? Yeah. Come on. No, they put Did, mad bread behind her the last four or five months. So how far, much? Uh, Tell him you know. If I knew that. <laughs> him, man. Nah, he know. Yo, if I knew that, yo, but nah, they put mad. She been on everything. She's gotten a ton, ton of looks. Um, Mad PR shit. So I saw far. it was floating around that Future got 250. I can believe <laughs> it. But Salute. to only do 50,000. I mean, it's pocket 000. watching, but you know what I mean? No, no, only they two, put it out there. To only do 250. I mean, to only do 50,000, they, they tight. And her budget is probably crazy. I know, her budget's crazy because Future got good. that 250. Yeah, no question. <laughs> production full. was good. That's the part I'm sitting here stuck at. Future could have <laughs> nah, wanted she, whatever you wanted. She had other features. I wish I had 250 to fucking <laughs> roll <around with> <laughs> Feature back in the day. Oh, shit. <laughs> My album might have been made with 11 grand. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. (laughs) 11 grand, yeah. Nah, 11 grand. But nah, more importantly... But I I got a a nice budget, though. But nice as in you could make For that time. Like, I got to go get three Just Blaze beats or four Just Blaze beats. Like, that was great for me. Nah. But more more importantly, off the number is that, that that album... Um, fulfilled her contract with yes, mm. so she's she's done with that. She's man. technically a free agent now. They gonna make their money back off yeah, that one song, yeah. bro. I think I think, I mean I can't speak for the label, but to clear that part out, where we're now we good to go the way we want to go. Mm-hmm. Let the album do what the fuck it do. Yeah, I don't care. It's true. We got it out. So now you cut ties over there, and now we can really. They might have had some. They might have some shit in the tuck. That they ain't want to put on that album. You yeah. don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. It's true. Huh? 
They, they might have they some, might heat, some heat. They, they might have some on. heat. Yeah. Of hers. Yeah. Yes. They can still put that out? Yeah. No, I'm talking about her new situation. Yeah. Which is Oh, the, you're saying she might have some yes, heat. She her. just do the Yeah. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. I didn't understand. Yeah. Well, I thought you were saying put, the label might still have some heat that they want to put out. I was about to say they could do that. Not the old label. I'm yeah. not talking about them. That's what I Yeah, he's not talking about them anymore. All right, what else? What else is important or unimportant? I mean, the big news of the weekend is Drake's not retiring. Drake? <laughs> he went on uh, Nicki Minaj's show and said, on, on her Amp show. Shout out to Amp. Mm-hmm. And said that he's not retiring. You don't say. He said he wanted, he said he <laughs> wanted to, to push himself. That's what the last album was about. Mm. The uh, Honestly, never mind. Just like, which kind of what I said. Yeah, but Probably just pushing yourself to do something different. I've been killing this shit right here right. too long. Let me Let me try it. That makes sense. Who thought Drake was retiring? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I, when I saw his headline, I was like, duh, he just got fucking half a billion dollars yeah, some shit from somebody. He you ain't retiring no, no time soon, fam. Yeah, but why do I need to retire? Active means a project every few years Two, or whenever, years. I, feel right. like whenever I feel like it. Not touring it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to be right here. If there was ever a time I was really trying to pocket watch... Drake just be looking real happy when he promoting that gambling shit, yo. That's happier than I ever seen him. Uh, Music ain't made him happy like that gambling company has made him happy. Let me tell you that one. I mean, I can see how it could be a lot of fun. I'm getting paid to gamble? <laughs> you copping my bet? No, I'm not. That's pocket watching. But Well, it's all pocket watching. Niggas be pocket watching. Yo. I mean, yeah. you guys just got to pocket watch the right people. Put it this way. <laughs> Put it this way. You got to pocket watch responsibly? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Be careful. Put it this way, yo. So he posts his wins all they the time. Like he, like broke, he, just, broke he just won five million over there gambling with them. Now, my, my question is, you think he lost any money? Are oh, you deep in the pocket watch game now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. No. I don't, think he's, I don't think he's lost any money. Well, real money or fake money? His money. Then he, he got, I was laughing. He, I saying they give him the money hey, to bet with. I'm, oh, then, then, then he, let, he let Nicky get on the plane. He said, "He don't want y'all to know he's a billionaire, but he's a billionaire." <laughs> I was like, "Well, why did ah, fuck it? <laughs> let it rock." Yeah. And Kevin Durant's not retiring. <laughs> you, you don't say. Also, <laughs> you don't say. Yeah, it's a big. Uh, no one's retiring uh, weekend that we just had. Yeah. Uh, Sources close to the situation reported hey, I, that Kevin Durant. I, I could tell you a couple people retire. in the NBA that's not retiring. You know what contracts is on the way? Yeah, we're <laughs> nobody's retiring. Nigga, actually. Nobody's retiring. Oh, nobody's retiring. <laughs> so, I hate to tell you. So that TV think, money come in, buddy. Whoever it's gonna be you like think hot 97 is retiring in real time, right happening. in front of us. No one's moving. No, you shouldn't me. I'm trying to get in the G League somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to fucking fi- find a rule that say I could nah, do some J. Coleish type shit. <laughs> Give me a 10-day on the strength somehow. Niggas is crazy. It will Retire, be no retirement man. at all. Yeah, no. Nah. Nah. I'm still here. I think they're going to stay, and I think they're going to As gonna I know, I'm old. Why do I? Why is LeBron's son dunking on people? Bro. Like, how old are we, yo? Now we old. Yeah, that went quick. That was fast. That yeah. went really quick. This shit is fast, yo. Oh, uh, not to bring it back here. <laughs> no, well, now fast. we lost them two years, man. That shit. That too? That shit accelerated some shit. Because <laughs> you kind of forget it. I be you know thinking about saying? that shit all the time when we sitting around talking like, yo, I haven't seen you in five years. Like, oh, yeah, but no one saw anybody for two of them, so. That's true. I had to Google what to see when Nip died. <laughs> mm. What year was that? 18? 2017. 17? Oh, no, that was when his album came out. That's when his album came out, 2017. Yo, that's, that's crazy. Cr- 19. <laughs> 19. That's crazy. That's, that's nuts. That's nuts. That is that crazy. Came out the same time. That is crazy. You sure? Wasn't 2017. Oh, then I'm just he wrong. passed away in 19. It's still, t- it's 2022. The the point still. Yeah, remains my point that, remains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I'm just them two years. That's crazy. Lost time. Yeah, because New Year's is coming up, Facts. and it's going to be 2023. Mm-hmm. And I had to literally stop and like try to do math, math in my head. Mm-hmm. It's like, damn, how the fuck we get to 2023 already? Right? Where the hell? Already. It was Bro, just... This shit hauling ass, dog. No, it's out of here. Really nah, hauling ass. It's out of here. You start getting older and pay bills. My mom, my mom said, the older you get, the faster, the faster, the the faster it goes. Go. Mm. 
Maybe it's it's just because the young people don't feel like it's fast. Mm-hmm. Still, man, maybe. Mm-hmm. It's fast for y'all too. So Bro, one, of my, one, like of my, one of my partners just had a um, he had a baby girl like three weeks ago, and I'm talking. Congratulations! To him. Yeah, congratulations! Mm-hmm. And I'm talking to him, and I'm like, yeah, I'm telling him little shit. I remember. Then I, I looked at my daughter. I'm like, Damn, my daughter's almost three. Yeah. Hmm? Where the fuck were? Like I'm literally seeing. Yeah, I remember we was dealing with this and that. And he like, well, how old is she now? And I'm like, damn. Like you don't realize this shit is zooming. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. blink and play. we here already. We get caught up in this day to day shit. Paying bill. The bills come every two days. Shit. So it feel like, it feel like bills come every week, yo. Auto pay. Shut up, ice. <laughs> Auto pay. It's easy to get you on the hook or some shit. Yeah. Make it convenient. Mm-hmm. Make it convenient. Make it that's how they. That's how they get everybody else hooked. That's how we they started this talking about how uh, b- before we started recording, we were talking about how uh, the Nip song was taken off a of Games album, and the uh, Young Boy NBA record was taken off a of Games album, mm-hmm. and we made the little comment like, "Ah, oh, that's why you, you know, you streaming, you stuck with it. It's convenience. Anything convenient can get you hooked today." Did they tell you why it got taken off? Uh, games manager said it was. He he believes that uh, Black Sam didn't like the comments he made about game, so he didn't clear the record, which caused it to be removed. And he was like, he didn't really. If if, you, if your issue was with me, it shouldn't have. It shouldn't reflect my artists. I disagree with that. I do too. Yeah, nigga, it's up. So yeah, all of y'all, you benefiting off of it if it's your artist. So no, I'm not, I'm not gonna clear it. And I don't know what happened with the um, with the Young Boy record, but I know the album was originally thirty one tracks, and then I went back into uh, Apple Music and Title to check, and it's now listed at twenty nine tracks. Those two songs do not exist anymore. So even people- take that streamer streamer guys <laughs> should have bought it. All you guys that have teased me for purchasing music in the last however many years, mm. you still buying music? Why are you doing that? That, that is the literal reason why, because I don't want somebody to come later on and say, you can't have this anymore. Mm. Yeah. Like, it's my music. You you don't, I just, I don't, I don't agree it with makes the sense. leasing of music. No, it makes sense. Me. Some people, but again, convenience, on the other hand, y'all pay $9 a month, $9.99, whatever, and can hear whatever. If it ain't in here, I don't need to hear it. Let me, how much an album yeah. costs? Usually nine ninety nine. Nine, twelve project. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. Depends. depends. Depending on how many songs and who it is. Yeah. It still kind of varies, yeah. Yeah. Cause who knows? You'll be buying an E P this week, a two song two pack this week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like, then they'll discount because those songs the, over there. The, the, yeah, that happens yeah. too. Yeah. They have this little now they have the complete my album that so if you have four or five records that they released as singles, when the album drops, you just hit complete my album and it'll just charge you for the rest it'll of the just song. Just charge you for the other seven. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I think Tank Tank drops Friday. I'm excited about that. Oh, okay. I'm excited. My old nigga bag. I right, so, uh, do you are you picking a side in this brewing Kodak versus uh, Young Boy thing? No. All right. What are um, they beefing about? Yeah, I didn't even know they were pretty much beefing like that. Uh, and I'm not going to call it beef, but what what the internet has shown us anyway is, uh. Kodak said, yo, I ain't got no beef with uh, uh, everybody think I had a problem with Youngboy, but I don't. It'd just be his fans. They mad annoying. They do this, they do that, do this, they do this, they do that. The Youngboy seen it and said, uh, if you don't like my fans, uh, if it's fuck my fans, then it's fuck you too, pussy. And then, Kodak, <laughs> and then Kodak Black said, niggas done just seen me stand in the face of death. Y'all know who I be. Y'all know what I'm about. Blah, 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 blah. He went on. I won't say. Uh, but, I read, <sighs> but I read it. Hate to see it. Yeah, especially if it's something like that that started over fans. Mm-hmm. I really hate to see that. Well, you know fans would be the ones to start shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. especially... Fans be not, the one. That's not for fact. nothing. I, have y'all come across any young boy fans? Mm-mm. They different. And I understand Kodak. They are... That's a fan base that you just leave alone. Like, they they don't stop. Like, we talked about toxic, toxic fan base. Well, I've seen talk about toxic fan bases... They might be up there. Like people who say the beehive is, oh, leave the beehive alone. You don't want that smoke. Mm. You don't want the barbs. It's not necessarily like you're scared of them. It's just like they don't stop. Like they've done things where they'll leak people's information. Uh, 
your real address, your phone number, like shit that could impact you in the real world. Mm. Like, and you just because you said something about somebody that they're a fan of, like, is that why everybody's running around doxing? Uh, it starts part of it, some of it, yeah. yeah. Because so many people feel like they're behind this protected wall when I'm on the internet. So the fans version is like the flip side to that is all right, well, I'm going to open that wall and show everybody where you at. Now talk. Yeah. Because that's what happened. It's a lot of, like, even, even, ain't got to go that far. There's people that, yo, they say the wildest shit to me on Instagram and Twitter. Wildest shit. I'm talking about most disrespectful shit you can find. And you know what happens? I click on their page. That page was made today. Mm Mm-hmm. It has no followers, has no profile pickup. It's James with 30 numbers after it. Mm-hmm. Like, you literally created this page to hide behind to talk shit. Because now you feel like I could get my shit off because you don't know it's me. Mm-hmm. So it's like the other side to that is if I really wanted to, I could get some people to find out who you are. Yeah. We've done that before. Mm. And now you show somebody, hey, look, this is who it is. Now it's a fuck around, be a nigga you know. <sighs> That's all right. of that shit's scary to me. That shit yeah, that's what I was saying. All scary to me. I leave all that, that shit alone, scary. bro. All right, what else is important? I just saw in the hacker, uh, uh, going off hacker shit, they, they hacked a uh, satellite for shits and giggles at HackerCon this weekend. Apparently, shits there's and uh, outer, outer com- out of commission satellites up there. That they satellite in the sky. Floating. Yeah, in space. Fuck the sky. And so they, uh, the, they had a hacker conference. I think it was in Ca- California, I believe. And so... For shits and giggles, they say, you know, let's grab Canada's old uh, satellite up there and see what we can see what we can do. And they just broadcasted the uh, hacker con from it, I believe. Bro, that's some scary shit. That is <laughs> scary, dog. That's what they did at the conference. Correct. <laughs> Word. Dang, what what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's just to show you what we could do. Yeah. Gonna put my money under my bed, man. No, nah, nigga, that's that's my, that's me putting my resume out there. No, nigga, nigga imagine <laughs> when they start playing with the banks. And just no, locking nigga. shit down. You what can't get doing, your money. No, 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 no. What they doing is, hey, look, this is what I can do. Showing off. And then next, you get a phone call with a job offer from the NSA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come over I here, get it. nigga. This is my way of letting y'all know who I am. Mm-hmm. You need, you want me? I'm a better friend than enemy. Yeah, the news every morning keep telling me how much the papers is potentially worth that uh, Trump stole. <laughs> yeah. Shit go up every day. <laughs> Now you can see why I took them shits. <laughs> I, I cannot I'm, understand our government's thinking. Like, what y'all thought? <laughs> it's the whole procedure. Fam, how mature do you want somebody to be? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. How, how every morning I hear that shit that come on, and I'll be like, uh, No, no, no. I'm going to tell you what really gets me. About, I ain't no better than that. Look. They, Look, Damn, the part- a nigga that's been chasing money for the last 50 on. years. Mm-hmm. This is the part that get me about it. <laughs> Y'all thought I was going to keep these shits in the crib? Yo, you've been, that shit been sitting right there for 90 <laughs> years. Somebody want to look. Somebody, somebody's looking for this. Little peepsy, little 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 peepsy. Yeah, peepsy. man. You waited here. Let me go ahead and screenshot Word. this motherfucker. Here. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Little no, photocopy. Take, take Who's that mature man besides Barack? Come on. Fam, he ain't a politician. He a businessman. Oh, yeah. Fam, he a businessman. Nigga ain't pay his contractors. You think he ain't gonna fuck with? That nigga is a scammer. What? <laughs> all time. All time. He's a scammer. He's yo. one of them. He's a scammer. All greatest of all time scammer. <laughs> Why did Trump take I'm not over that little golf team. move that he did. Nigga, that's a... People can be mad all they want. Ice, that's disgusting. I... Two things can be true. Oh, okay. It could be genius, right. too. That's like you riding off the G-Wagon. <laughs> Having your ex-wife buried right there what? hole number one? Same thing. No, it's not. Yo. How not so? One is sentimental, one ain't. Your kids, <laughs> your kids got to come see your mother on hole one when niggas out there like four. Yo, come I, on, I, I in, the words, in the words of a great litigator, nothing is sentimental about this. It's all business. Uh, ever, I, I, take the, I take the scam a step further. Ain't shit buried there. Might not be. <laughs> Good point. 
That's a good one. Uh, they were saying he might have some more shit buried down there with her. Or that. And it's on my property. Y'all can't get it. Y'all will never control it. You can't seize it. Oh, that's a good one. That's a can't good exhume. Can't exhume. Can't, fam. Can't exhume. That's a, y'all thought the box was in the house that you raided. The codes. I knew y'all was coming. <laughs> the codes. You just did it, yeah. That's a good one there, Ice. That's what you would do, yo. No, you don't even want to hear where, where, where my brain is right <laughs> Way now. worse than that. <laughs> All right, let's get on out of there. <laughs> Hey, hey Joe, it it's, it's some news that I think you would actually appreciate. All right. Um, the new Madden football game comes out, I believe it's this week. I'm going to get that shit as soon as I find a PS5. I, I'm, I'm working for you. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm going to find you. Five, yo. Half of the niggas like, yo, tell Park, yo, right, regular price. It's easy for you, P. Diggity. You don't want one. He want to find anybody to sell at regular price. Nah. Anyway, tell us so, about um, the game. So the, the touchdown celebration, the gritty. Mm-hmm. The gentleman that came up with that has he's licensed it to Matten to include in the game. So instead of them just ripping off your dent, you know how we were saying mm-hmm. before they ripping creators off. Mm-hmm. So in this sense, someone is actually able to license a popular dance to the video game. So, uh-huh. Some urban shit. So yeah, yeah. I forget the gentleman's name, but um, that's what's up though. Dope. Way to give him props. Yeah. I'm. S- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know his name. It's- I don't know his name, but um, so so is that because of Justin Jefferson or just? Well, he popularized it. Gotcha. Yeah, because they were there was a whole thing. Of who who was the reason? You know, you saw NBA players. Mm-hmm. I see little kids doing it. It's one of them dances mm-hmm. where it just took over. Anytime, it's a celebration dance. I just want to point out, any one of y'all could really take us out of here with a demonstration right now. <laughs> <laughs> this episode, it's got ice written you, all over it. YouTube. What? TikTok, Instagram, any one of Don't you. Don't move over. Let him get some room on the Can couch. get us. No, the camera's right there. Now he can get the couch, though. No. What are you talking about? All you got to do, just anybody do could just get right up and just show me what that dance looks like. I don't know how to do it. I don't know the gritty from the grimy, so. Pull Alan it up. Alan Davis is his name. Thank you. I don't want to. Pull it up. Pull it up. Uh, pull up the dance, please. Oh, yeah. Pull show up us the dance. Show Show, show, because somebody got to give us a little gritty. Teach now. me how to gritty. Teach, teach. Okay. Is you was just listening to Meg Her? Come on, yeah, you might be. Able you to might get as well that. take us you home. Might be able to get that. I don't know how to dance. You could take it home now. I could give you the. I could give yeah, you. We the Meg you were listening you to Meg Her on YouTube in your car. You could. You could do the gritty. The, the, one is oh, way worse than the other. Oh, you could do that. Yeah, you definitely seen it. You could do that. Oh, yeah. let's Look, go. Right on. on. <laughs> Mike check one two one two one two. Hailing on, from it's... East. Orange and Newark and, and West Maplewood. Orange and Maplewood and <laughs> mad places. You ain't gonna do it, just come on. God, I don't know how to do this shit. I don't know. This is an audio podcast. Yes, audio. <laughs> People are right listening foot, left foot. to this. Come on, Ish, get it. This house music. This the shit you, you know, old heads was doing. Please. Thank you. Erickson, you see that? Yeah. See how they don't want to do it? Dang. That's how every day struggle took off. I'd have got up and did that dance. <laughs> I ain't doing it now. I mean, I still got the video of you doing the other dance. Because I'm rich. No. Is that what you think of me? No, I'm not doing it now because I'm already that nigga. Not guest base. You know what I mean? The fuck is you niggas talking about? (laughs) Fuck is these niggas talking about out here, huh? Uh? Still smell my cologne in the room. I mean, you could do that one, though, Joe. Hmm? I I still got the video of you doing the other dance. That's why you put a lot of cologne on. So so when you leave the room... (laughs) Yeah. Oh shit, I think Joe was here. Oh, well, that's stupid, when yo. Yeah, well, that's when your girl take your t-shirt back home and smell, like, smell yeah. like yeah, smell yeah you like fucking it. right. It smell yeah. like that nigga. That one. <laughs> fuck is you talking about? Anyway. <laughs> what this so stupid, yo. All right, so nobody's going gritty for me. Great. Nah. Way to take it home. Yeah, y'all dropped the ball. Way to take it home. Yeah. All right, what else? What else? What else? Ice, you was going somewhere, right? Oppie. Um, I knew it smelled how, Oppie, though. That's not Oppie. I knew it smelled... No, but no. first of all, Oppie is already in the room from all these niggas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All these niggas Yops. need to know. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> Parks, Gif. <laughs> Gotta be up with your mans, too. Uh, Damn, son. Ish. What's happening to Oppie, though? Nah, it's, I, I, was, I was thinking about going to... Um, Drum hit me. He's at, he's at, he's at Barclay. Okay. And he has Wiz Shout out Khalifa. to Drama, friend of the show. He has Wiz Khalifa and uh, Logic. They were on tour together. Shout mm. out to Wiz, friend of the show. 
<laughs> that other nigga, though. <laughs> I might have pulled up there. I asked you about your law interviews. That's it. That's it. That's, That's it. it. I might have might have went to see see what was going on. See see if it was, uh, the energy was the yeah, same. See what was happening. That'd have been fun. That would have been. Oh, hilarious. Joe would have did that shit. <laughs> Old Joe would have just showed up with my camera on my neck, nigga. I'm out of here. Yo, my camera on <laughs> don't, my don't get duffed out. I'm out of here, huh? Don't don't lose that. Like, don't, don't lose what? Don't have him snuff you. To Logic? Yeah, you can't come out. You can't bounce back from that. If Logic snuff me, mm -hmm. you think Logic will snuff me? I don't know. You never know. You don't but know how not, people, you don't know how people react to the disrespect. You're right, but that's not the fun part of imagining. That's why I love having an no, imagination. No, the fun part is if he snuffed you and you, you'll retire from potting. You would have to. How come in each of y'all's story it stops at he snuffed you? Let me you? tell you why. <laughs> no, 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 no. But if he uh, why does it stop there? You know, if, if he duffed you out, <laughs> you have to retire. Wow. Yes or no? Retire you, from podcasting. You would retire from existing. <laughs> you wouldn't come outside for like two months. Wouldn't cut live on. We had to come pull you out of Howard show. Yeah, yeah, we have to come pull you other. I've been punched in the face before, you know. Yeah, it, I know, but that's different. It's definitely different. And that's you, totally different. And a punch, and a punch in the face ain't a duff out. He can't even punch you in the face. I'm gonna be honest with you. No, he can punch you in the face. No, he can't. Yes, he could. Once he punched you in the face, you put the beats on him. It, can y'all tell me why y'all are saying this? If Logic punched you in the face, <laughs> yes. You just called him. Why, out. I would have to stop work. No, no, working? no. You wouldn't have to stop work if he. I'd have to come to work like that. No. Yeah, you would. Because if he punched you in the face and then you boobopped him, then it would just be funny. It can't, it's it's funny. Joke. No, you punched me in the face. What the fuck are you talking about? You punched me in the face. I'm suing. No, you're not. First of all. <laughs> I'm going to court. You would not. I got. Uh, no, you wouldn't. Uh, no, you wouldn't. Uh, no, you wouldn't. Yeah. I go home to the gritty. What? See, I was about to do it. See, I'm a starer. <laughs> I, can give, I can give you the beat. <laughs> I wouldn't be gritty into that beat. Oh, man. But I gritty like band from TV or something. Man, I, I need, like, I need I, real nigga music. I, nigga said I, I worked that out I too. No, because you ain't gonna gritty throw on that bad bunny and let's see you <laughs> yeah, throw on that bad bunny. Let's see your tall ass get the gyrating around. <laughs> you uh, skipping. Yeah, let's see your tall pool, ass get the maneuvering <laughs> around. You know us whites are uh, dance dance fully challenged. <laughs> dance aholics. Oh, oh man, that's man. Funny. we just fist pump. I can do that. Off beat. Off beat. Ice, yeah. can't Clap on the the one. Ice can't gritty that drill shit he be on. No, that's not true. You can throw Nardo Wick on. You probably could. Real? Yeah. yeah. When Nardo Wick come on. Y'all got to see what this nigga in the spot. That? When that's Nardo a good, Wick come on, That's a good on, little... You can catch it to that. Yo, it's so interesting being a fans of men. <laughs> wow. Let's see what make them tick. Just... Just... No, I'd like to see... You're a fan of them like a man. What about that man? Has you a fan of it? That person... That's kind of every yeah, guy. I gotta go ask him that. Ask yeah, yourself right. that when you go to bed at night or some shit, or when you're in the house alone easy or in the bathroom. Huh? It's an easy one. What about that person that has been a fan of them? That man, the art, their art. Nah, you could just be a fan of somebody that's not even an artist. It's just. I you... mean, period. Like Bron, I'm a fan of Bron. His art, what he does on the basketball court, is art. Because everybody can't paint like that. Everybody can't do that shit. That's all I mean. I was a fan of Kobe because of his art, what he did for his profession. Simple and cheesy. It's art, nigga. So it's all art based with you. Yeah, I don't know you niggas to be fans of you as a person. I don't know who you are in your day to day. Got I know it, the product that you nah. putting out. It's some niggas that you you'll be a fan of theirs just on how they move or how they carry themselves or the or the I don't want to say swag but the charisma that they exude. But you might not. You get what I'm saying? You like, don't know them though. I, I know, but as Yo, if, I, I know. Were you? Did they open back the sound factory? Where <laughs> were you this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> The charisma of these. I'm law, nigga. The we radiance. all Barack Obama. I never met Barack Obama. Mm. I was a fan of Barack Obama based on how he moved. That's you his art. That's his art. I'm with you about it. That's his art. Is what I'm saying. He's not an was, artist. I'm saying what, <laughs> what they do. What yes, they do. Just what they how do. they move. They like that's what I'm saying. That, that, that his persona and his charisma. That like even his speaking. That's his art. Y'all like. Yo, he used to be dope when presidents could speak. Y'all like niggas. Nigga, you to buy one. <laughs> Just stupid face. <laughs> you know what I mean? no. When presidents could speak, you were saying. Oh, it was dope when yeah. presidents could speak. As opposed to tweeting. No. <laughs> the last two presidents could not speak. Biden can't walk. 
<laughs> I don't know how they got that off. That nigga ate some chicken and grits and t- took you niggas to school. <laughs> they got that off, yo. Oh, America's ill. No, it's the Voltori. That nigga was healthy for like a week. <laughs> Propped him up real good. But then a few times he wasn't. The nigga fell down, passed down, <laughs> fell asleep, <laughs> broke his hip. <laughs> he had a cane. Not at all. Was on crutches one time. Like, how the hell did they do that? You know how bad the state we had to be in? Oh, no, man. You sound bad. Let me not talk politics. Uh, that ain't my shit. But, man. That's real. Well, they, don't, they don't even interrupt the news no more. <laughs> the president don't pop up no more. Do nah. Damn. Nigga, he ain't. Nah, they doing stuff back there, though. <laughs> they doing shit. They doing, yeah. they doing stuff back there. But shit. just the, the representative public. Mm-mm. I kind of fuck with that. Consumer talk. facing. Nah, what, what Trump did was made that nigga like an everyday. Content. Yeah, it he was, was content. creating content up there. But it wasn't even about the world. It was just content. It would just be about some shit that he just posted. Yo, yeah. Purdue chicken. <laughs> Real effect. He just put that up there. You'd be like, yo. No, no. Yo, Fuck the, Michelin tires. They're yeah, going down. Not, like, yo. Not, yo <laughs> dog, not the Global World Summit meeting. None of that. It would just be some straight Twitter nigga shit. Yo, right? <laughs> yeah. <it's> like, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. Yo. That Certain is people are, oh, you going to give me this? All right, cool. Watch. Oh, man. Everybody that pissed me off. Go I, get him. I do hate that he hates black people. I do, man. Because he's... <laughs> some of that shit is in the You think he hate black people? I think he hate poor people. <laughs> Them too, though. <laughs> it's mad people he hate. Yeah. What was his name? Just told a joke. He was like, they took... Trump so mad because they took his passport and he was trying to build a wall. So now, <laughs> look at the irony in that. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got to sneak into Mexico. <laughs> That's that's funny. <laughs> that is I, funny. I clicked on that's something funny. on YouTube that's that showed that. the idiot that owns the wall. <laughs> Somebody own the wall? And you call Yo. him an idiot. Yeah, I think he's an idiot. Yeah, all right. Tell me more. I bet you are some billions behind that wall. In this particular doc. <laughs> <laughs> He was kicking it with Trump at one point. <laughs> Trump was like, yeah, we're going to get that over to you. Go build it up. A little, a little metal company or whatever mm-hmm. company he's mm-hmm. from out mm-hmm. there that he found. So the guy busted his ass, uses all his resources and the money, and he started building the wall. Then then it stopped. he stopped sending that money through. <laughs> so the wall, he got like a few miles of wall or some shit. Uh-huh. And do nothing. He, 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 walk, he got mad miles to go. <laughs> oh, no shit. And he walking around talking, like, yeah, this is mine. No one wants to buy it. <laughs> you don't say, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you fucking fool. Nah, they got to tell them to NFT that shit, man. So, yeah, right. if you think that's going to flip a different way, I think that stock is, I'm not, I'm not Investbest. <laughs> I'm not Rashad. <laughs> I'm not Troy. I'm going to pass Ian. on that one. I'm not uh, Wall Street <laughs> Trapper. I'm Gary. Pa- I, that stock, <laughs> damn. <laughs> You won't see nothing like that again in your lifetime or our lifetime. That Them spikes is going to sit there. <laughs> then he started telling us how expensive. Yeah, that shit was a process. They showed the building. They of, tried to build a wall across the yes, whole continent. No, that <laughs> shit was a process, yo. No, it had spikes on it? Yeah, for protective measure. They explained the design. like, Yeah, they, they, they dog. They was building some shit over there. That's crazy, son. <laughs> and that shit just sitting there. <laughs> yo, some days, some of these docs is funny, yo. They're not supposed to be funny, but that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Nah, that's funny. It's a dodo. But... Get... Yo, he Trump is the man. <laughs> that nigga's putting shit on. <laughs> Do not disturb. <laughs> yo, they just stop the nigga. Get off my phone. Stop call- yo, I'm stop out. calling No, me. that's your shit. Yeah, we that all ain't there. mine. You hold it. See how valuable it is now. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> and trying to sell it. Holy Keep shit. That. He trying to sell it to somebody. Keep that. You in real estate. You go talk to, <laughs> go talk to that nigga. <laughs> you need some wall? Go get some All right, wall. man. All right, come oh, on, because I don't shit. even talk politics, but some of that shit is funny. Nah, it's just funny. funny. It's, it's, it's even funny when you don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to keep it a buck. 
I don't know the inner workings of that shit. So the shit that I see makes it that make it funny. No, that's funny. That's true. Sorry. Honing <laughs> in the wall. You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> see, you gotta be careful about what what you what you stand in. Yeah. Look what you were standing in, dogs. True. That's true. That's what you was trying to do. Now hold that wall. All right. <laughs> Fucking stupid spikes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's happening? Um uh, you ben got... Simmons and the 76ers have reached oh. a settlement agreement on the grievance the All-Star guard, uh, guard fouled to recoup a portion of the nearly $20 million withheld, uh, $20 million withheld him as a result of his failure to play games in the 2021-2022 season. Oh, he had to pay that back. Story soon. No, he, no, no, he was he trying to get they, money. They, he they, was trying they, to get they, money. They, they, they didn't pay him. Okay. Yeah, he was trying to get money. Got it. And they settled. We don't get the terms. I don't care. As a Sixer fan, just I just want that saga completely over. Good. I don't want any more Ben Simmons Sixer stories. Take these millions and take whatever. Move. I've been, you know, I've been saying that. Like, just it, turn the page. That's kick, the past. Leave it alone. Kick y'all. Oh, in the if this was the segment where we get to complain about our team, the search of New York Giants during preseason ain't pretty. What you mean? The search. Yeah, Searching. when I searched New York oh, Giants, okay, got you, got you, out there on on the socials, they want to know though. <laughs> yeah, you came in here screaming, "Want to know?" Real loud. That's a fact. They are one and zero. But you know what that I means? The teams that go four and zero be fucking oh, yeah, one yeah. and sixteen. Preseason, yeah. I'm just talking pre-season. shit to you, bums. Practice squad versus practice squad. But it ain't pretty. I bet not. It's not pretty. About old Danny Dimes. I'm a little scared. And how how they feel. That's what's been and what's he what he's doing out there. What? Usually y'all get delusional. Oh wait, no, and uh, Tyrod Taylor looks good. Tyrod's a good quarterback. That's the problem. He's not a bad quarterback. I always like Tyrod that's, Taylor. But that's not the bad. problem that is so it's a quarterback rumored to be now? happening. Because one don't look good and the backup get the ball down the field. Mm-hmm. Tyrod. And at some point if you want to evaluate your team properly. You have to see if they can get the ball down the field. Yeah, you got to find out those, if, all the receivers you got the last yeah. couple of years. Are, and if your number six pick in the in the, whatever draft that was can't do that, then you need to make a decision. And this is not their that their guy the ball in them. It's not their guy. We didn't yeah. we didn't pick him. We wasn't here for him. We mm. don't know nothing about none of that. Mm. I got to see what Saquon is doing. I got to see what these uh, the big boy draft picks that we just got are doing. Mm. Galladay only had five touchdowns last year. We paid him 110. I got to see what he's doing. I got yeah. shit to do. Yeah. The Giants might be a mess this year. No, I, I think it will be. But I think they got the right coaching staff. I think they won. And they got some nice pieces. I think they, got they won seven nice games. Hmm? Yeah, I think they're going to be in the five, six, seven, seven games. range. Making the playoffs? Yeah, and draft no. a quarterback. Gotcha. Yeah, five, six, oh, five, six, seven wins. Wins. And then gotcha. draft a quarterback. Nah, y'all shocked me ish. Wow. Because usually, and it's. Don't take it the wrong way, but usually the cowboy fans get real delusional. So it's it's about that season. time, yeah. No, niggas start fucking with us. Niggas start fucking with no, us as no, soon no, as the yeah. summer hit. No, y'all <laughs> get delusional though. Like, yo, yo, now nah, we could come out to eat. We got it. This, this we've heard that this is our year from cowboy fans for every year. Every year of my life. This has been the quietest that I've heard cowboy fans in in years. And the loudest that I've heard Eagles fans in years. Eagles look good though. Yeah, they yeah, but I'm about to say they look all right though. No, I know, and that's why they're loud. Yeah. But the cat, but the, the Cowboys don't necessarily always look even great on paper. They fans just be loud every off season. They quiet. I like the Cowboys. I just don't think Mike McCarthy can get it done. I don't think he can get it done either. And I, I said that all last year. So I had a conversation with my man, and he was like, he hit me to something. He said, "Yo, the Cowboys defense looks amazing. I agree with him. The O line sucks." Mm-hmm. So it was almost like they 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 trying to get at Dak. Like, yo, we gave you all this money, nigga. Go out there and do it. But if you look at any great quarterback, they put money in the O line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you to. have to. Yeah. yeah, we ain't do shit. Lost lost some pieces. So now we're gonna be out there. He's gonna be scrambling, running for his fucking life. It's gonna make him look like shit. But y'all had an amazing O line for years. Twenty of them. And at least you have a uh, you go, mobile you go, mobile you go, you go, quarterback. You're gonna get long in the tooth sometime, nigga. You gotta replace him. You feel what I'm saying? And we ain't. At least Dak can move around, though. He going to have to. He going to yeah. have to. Um, to get back to music, I have bad news out to deliver out there. Uh, SZA has signed on to be a part of a film. If there were ever to be a draft held where you get the top pick, and the artist that you don't want to go off and do a film, <laughs> I was picking Scissor. 
fuck. I'm never getting that album. Nah, you getting that album. Shit. No, you're definitely getting that album. That album's done. Mm. That album's coming this year. And the soundtrack might be fire on this movie project. Oh, yeah, what do you think? You think you think do you think that they're waiting till Christmas? I think it's coming this year. But yeah. Yeah. That that Cuz I'm trying right to get into Christmas, thinking. October. Mm-hmm. She wanted it out. They said hold up for a second. Mhm. So they have a plan. And said we know exactly when the album's coming. That was in like, like we know what we doing over here. We have yeah, Maybe they knew what else was coming too. Mm-hmm. Maybe they knew everything else that was coming like now. Let all of them get this shit out. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm sitting there at the top, top of the fourth with a whole brand new scissor album to mm-hmm. go into the winter. That that people have been beyond thirsty. Mm-hmm. Like I know what that's gonna sound like. I'd be wrong sometimes, but nah, you're not gonna, be wrong, about, not not gonna be wrong about. Not gonna be wrong about. Not nope. Not about. Not with this album. one. Yeah, nothing, nothing tells us from what we've heard and seen that this is gonna be anything. And I get it from the artist standpoint. That's why I had this album done. I want it out. I want to give it to my fans. They're they're begging. They're thirsty for new music. So I get it. But it's a bigger. SZA helps here. me. To, SZA makes it easier for me to spot uh, bad R and B. Yo, <clears throat> honestly, when I come in here and talk about bad R and B, and they be like, "Oh, you wanted to, you old nigga, you wanted to be the '90s so bad." No, no, I can get in the current R and B where it. people are making it. Mm-hmm. SZA's one of them, yo. Good days for me is still one of the best R and B songs since it came out. She ain't about to play. No, she ain't about to play. Yeah, not at all. That's one of them albums They go on And you be sitting there You feeling bad For some of the cheating You did Like damn Nah She had a point that night (laughs) Like nah I ain't even That that was a little fucked up (laughs) Yeah nah Now that was wild How you got that off (laughs) She ain't saying nothing But she gotta know That was (laughs) You got it off You just came Got back in the bed Like you fucking wild (laughs) You did that And shorty wasn't even like that She wasn't even Cut like that and it was you wack. did a lot for that. <laughs> you heard it. nothing worse than when you come back from cheating and you get you get everything off, but your girl is in the best mood ever, and now she's the best girl you've seen. And like the oh baby, you want breakfast? Oh, you need a back massage? I was like, damn, yo, why even did that shit? <laughs> nah, if you was doing this, man, if you was doing that. Oh man, I ain't gonna do it again. That ain't the worst. I ain't gonna cheat again. That ain't the worst. Nah, that's bad. That's, the worst. that's bad. That's not the yo. worst. The worst That's is bad. When you step out and cheat and it was trash. And you was like, nah, I did oh, that for please, this. Oh, please. Nah. That's, 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 that's 15. That's, that's that, a double double in the gym. <laughs> that's trash? That's, that's, a low, that's low double double. That's not the worst. <clears throat> that's not that's the, the risk. That's the risk that you run. No, when you come I, on, that ride home be some yeah. bullshit. That ride home be bullshit. <laughs> what? When you caught or no? No. Just the ride home. The, after the clarity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The post-nut yeah. clarity. Yeah, you know now you're going home. Yeah, you know the post-nut, yo. Kind of be a little relieved when it's whack. All right, we'll never speak again, and my girl's none the wiser. Another one out the way. Oh, I ain't <laughs> kaput. That's a good that, point. That one's kaput. That's a good point. That's, <laughs> that's a good point. I dare good. bring you up now. <laughs> 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 no, nah, she definitely could bring you up now. Nah, that's a good nah, point. That, yeah. No, nah, but that, yo, you go Speaking home. Speaking from the past. Of course. Of course. Just hypotheticals. Uh, you know, I'm scared faithful. I'm a trademark it. <laughs> every, every day these girls show me, show me more. But up. Good point. Da, 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 da. That's a good point. That's Dude, a, that's a great scary point. out there. But now nah, you go home, you got dinner cooked, bath water ran. You be like, I'm a piece of dough. Yeah, come on, man. Oh, you, you made cor- think about Well, that. you made cornbread too. <laughs> nah, you ain't make. And she yo, you ain't make. And she you, got you a gift. She got you a gift. <laughs> the other day, I remembered you said you needed something. Uh, I stopped it on the way home. And, nah, you ain't do that. Take it back. <laughs> nah, you ain't do that. Cause I just gave the best dick ever to fucking <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> she ain't give me nothing. <laughs> she ain't do shit. I broke her back. She might be in fucking love. And you, if you was this great, I wouldn't do that shit. <laughs> I ain't know you was about to go out. Like, why are you so great? Oh, men are terrible, bro. All right, yo, I ain't going to do it again this year, yo. Not with Tasha, at least. That's what men say. Men, men cut the girl. <laughs> they ain't going to meet a new girl to do it with. I ain't going to do it with her. Yeah, because you got to we'll set up her. Because oh, yeah, with each girl, you get new cheat rules. <laughs> oh, man. It's a new way to cheat. You got to customize the cheating. All right, I'm bugging now. Come on. What else? What else? What else happened to music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to music? Nothing. <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah, drink your water, nigga. I'm letting you rock. <laughs> it's your world. <laughs> the Joe Budden show, I know. The Joe Budden network. Drink your water. I know. Look, I know. Look, Iceway. You gonna look, look over here at me? Why? I don't know. I used to be a cheater. Yeah. You don't know me to be one either, nigga. <laughs> you right. True. I don't know that. I don't know. I used to even resemble a cheater, though. Like you still got cheater look on you. I don't you look was like at a, you was at Invest Fest with your little sweat sweat outfit on. Saw that with your Sergio, right? Brand new too. You over there with your scotch and soda on? So. I'm at work. Nah, you know you you, you had the look on you. The look you What's had the, the look, look on Joe, you. Joe, tell me what the look is. The look is uh, the acapella. The I know we <laughs> can't talk about R. Kelly. The the look is the beginning of the Fiesta remix acapella before the beat drops. <laughs> After the show is the after party. <laughs> well, then keep going. <laughs> I was trying keep, to think I keep of it. Keep going. After the party is the hotel lobby. No. Keep going. After the, show is the, after after the Bellevue. After the party. Then is it's the probably hotel Chris. Lobby. Uh-huh. And the rest, who cares? The be dropped. The rest was in my bed and it was sleep. Mm. Man, I, yeah, I, and I There's believe. There's mad ways to interpret that. <laughs> 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 All right, come on. What else? What else? That's stupid. What bro. else y'all got for me? They suing Ross and his family over Wingstop. Oh man. Yeah, it was a bunch of violations. Like, yeah, they was forcing employees to pay shit that they shouldn't have paid. It was a lot of uh, work violations. Man, get off the boss back, yo. <laughs> Leave Ross alone, yo. If Capri Sun could do that, and Johnson and Johnson could do that. Put cancer all in the powder. Man, <laughs> let Ross get his wings nigga, off. Go on, buy a uniform, nigga. <laughs> Did y'all hear um, for the PPP loans, they changed the in- investigation window from two years to 10 years? <whistles> and yeah, and they create like a whole department to come get you, niggas. <whistles> People thought they was going to get it off. Like, all right, two years. We don't have an investigation time. We made it. We good now. They want their bread back. That's the beautiful thing about aging. You just have seen some of this shit before. This is like when the big sweep came on the cards the first time. <laughs> the card, all the card niggas was getting their shit off, and it wasn't like like the main focus of getting them off the street. Mm-hmm. All them niggas came back retroactive. Oh, you was doing this then? Got you. We on you. Go mm-hmm. do your time. Sit up for a little bit. Come back. Just that's what this reminds me of. They found out it was way more y'all doing that than they ever expected. Yep. Need, need more time. We got you, niggas. We'll be right back. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's what that is. And this is why my guy told me, leave it to fucking alone. Just because of the scrutiny that will be attached to it mm. over over your books for the next ha- however many years. You don't want to sign yourself up for that if you don't have to. They about to go crazy. No, nah, they're they about to run this up. Mm-hmm. They thought, yeah. Everybody that thought, you know, you was quiet enough. You got they getting ready to look through everything, and it's all public information. Like you can literally go pull up a Google search and see who got what in certain areas. So mm-hmm. imagine, excuse me, imagine the info that they have. Mm-hmm. Right. I told you, there was screenshots going around. Like people was doing whatever to get some of that PPP money. Nigga had a company called Hellcat Me LLC, <laughs> and got money on the PPP shit and. Guess what he got? That's crazy. A Hellcat. <laughs> Might be a good investment now. <laughs> no, that, good, that is a good investment. A good investment now, though. He about to flip that oh, shit. Man. And that could be the other reason why a lot of, I know you was telling me before that people turn selling watches back and the watches uh, prices are dropping. Like, niggas, no, they got to come up with this. It's like, oh, shit. How much? Come on, Ish. I don't want to talk. I'm good. Well, we Biden, have- Biden states via teleconference, the American people deserve to know that their tax dollars are being spent as intended. <laughs> My message to those cheats out there is this. You can't hide. We're going to find you. We're going to make you pay back what you stole and hold you accountable under the law. <laughs> so what, what cheats is he talking to? Yeah, we're... <laughs> Yo, fam. The first thing is, is this me applicable up. to everybody? Like, is no. this applicable to the stock niggas that steal money and get no. over on taxes? Is this applicable to your man Big T when he beat the tax system? Like, this shit is bullshit, my nigga. Yo, if you got enough bread, you could skate. Till you broke niggas that came up, we gonna get you. 
So mad broke young black people, young minorities, young whomever was doing PPP shit, getting money that they would potentially never seen in their life. And a lot of them niggas use that money for good reasons. All them niggas didn't buy Louis and bullshit. A lot of them niggas started businesses and are profiting with that bread. We not having that. A lot of niggas bought Louis. I'm and not just cra- crab legs too. No, they did a lot. But, but a lot of niggas did positive shit with that bread, and we starting to see a shift. Not to serious us out, we starting to see a shift where the marginalized people was getting information. The marginalized people were starting to get to stock shit that was once closed off and investment shit that was once closed off. We not gonna do that. So now we gonna we, we gonna pull it back. We gonna and, tighten the range. And not only that, the, the people that's getting access to the uh, the information, the only thing they were missing was money. A lot of them was only missing capital. Right. So now that so I now capital, I found a way to get some capital. Oh, we go. really out of here. Yes. No, no, no. I'm with you. No, no, no. We got to stop that. Niggas was getting money off crypto, and mm-hmm. then they was converting that money into real estate. They was converting mm-hmm. that money into more tangible shit. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. We're not widening. I mean, we're not going to shorten the gap between the halves the and the halves. The gap is the gap for a reason, my nigga. The fuck mm-hmm. you talking about? No, we're going to shut you niggas down. Bitcoin drop. We'll take all, that. We'll take all that crypto. Like, all that shit, yeah. We're going to make it drop. And so we... you're in support of the scams? I am. I'm no, I'm not in scams. support of the scams. What I'm saying is... If we going if we gonna prosecute the scammers, prosecute everybody. Prosecute the niggas that been scamming. That's not how it was set up. I know. That's my point. And so that's what I'm against. So you talk about I ain't gonna say the nigga name, but one of the biggest people in American politics had a company. They gave his company mad billions of dollars. The United States gave his company mad billions of dollars. Mm-hmm. He then took his company and moved that shit to Dubai, where he didn't have to pay taxes on the money. Like get the fuck out of here, my nigga. Go lock him up. <laughs> what do he do illegal? He circumvented the tax system. What did he do? Illegal. Circumvented the tax system. If I found a legal loophole... There you go. That's not illegal. Sure. So what are you locking me up on? He the nigga helping writing the loopholes. <laughs> Yo, he the nigga that helped write the loopholes. It's all right. I'm this isn't saying. my area of expertise. Yeah, no, no, just but listen. Yes, it no, is. No, I, it's, it's like every other doc that you watch where the rich motherfuckers play the game. Oh, no, I understand rich, that part, that part, part of what you're saying. the get around. I'm talking about in terms of the there, law. There's a yeah. section of the game that is missing when you talk about the rich person playing the game and, the, and the, the person who just got that information and got into some money and is now trying to play the game. Mm-hmm. The part that's missing is... That rich person also got certain connections. Connections. With people. That's the part that's that is true. You can have all the money in the world that if you ain't got the connections to make shit shake the way you need it to true. shake. I agree with you. You gonna end up losing, and we, that. And we gonna make sure you don't get those connections neither, right. because then your 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 equity you, stake gonna be as high as ours. Exactly. Yeah, but I mean, and you you can go back and empower too many. Yeah. No, 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 no. There you go. But, but the part that really fucked me up in his whole statement when he said the American people deserve to know that their tax dollars are being spent as intended. And every other every three days, I see we send in another billion dollars to that to over, over there somewhere. Billion. I don't think that's where billion our tax dollars were intended and 50 to go. Billion, nigga. When niggas over here getting kicked out their houses, we sending money to other countries that don't give a fuck about us. Come on, man, yo, knock it off, B. Like that ain't spent as intended. That's the part that fucked me up, mm-hmm. like, nigga. We paying taxes for here, mm-hmm. not for there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Homeless motherfuckers in Cali punching people in the face. Speaking of Cali, um, they just signed to where all the, the public schools out in California, their lunches are now free. That's dope. Really? Yes. Like that? Yeah. That's gotta like that. You have to. I think that should be nationwide. Absolutely. But it That's gotta dope. start somewhere. That's true. That's dope. But now they're gonna be giving the Capri Sun with the shit in it. <laughs> Hopefully not ish. I mean, <laughs> look, look, fair, for free, it's gonna be some cutoffs. <laughs> the tater, them tater tots go taste different. They might be a little stepped on. Yeah, no, yeah. you're not lying. What fuck you're you not talking lying. about? This America, dog. The motherfucking tater tots going to be different. The pizza going to hit different. I remember the reduced lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you used to get cracked on in school if you had free lunch. Nigga, I'm reduced, nigga. I pay 40 cents for my shit. Elitist. Just, that, that. It started young. Some niggas paid 90 cents. I was reduced. We was in the middle. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, baby. Nah, that's good, though. Uh, but some other schools, I think in North Carolina, this is crazy. It's mm-hmm. where we are in this, as a country. Um, they are now issuing that one AR-15 is going to be put in every school. Yeah, it was it was a, it was a county. Uh, I don't want to say Greensboro. Whatever county. In North, Carolina. North Carolina. 
they they're gonna put in a locked AR fifteen, uh, AR fifteen, hey, and a locked safe. When I was in, in school, school, you know what I was doing? I was getting to that little teacher room and seeing what I could find <laughs> back there. <laughs> what do you think these kids is gonna do with that fucking gun cabinet? No, fam, but the Madison the, County, excuse me, I'm but the, right the, the police weren't running there. Now you gonna trust the no, but, the gym Ms. teacher? Johnson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the shit that's fucked Janet, up about Janet it. Janet the Kurt the, uh, had an AR. The shit that's fucked up about it is flag me if you need to, Rob. He ain't got no more now. It's already here. Mm-hmm. I was thinking the same exact. Thing. Like, what the yo, fuck are you yo, doing? He gonna play teacher's pet? I don't think the same. Y'all are twisted. Yo. No, but think about it. like that was the problem. Just they were bringing AR fifteen to school. Case now I'm just gonna call. go get the shit. No, I, I, I'm the um, student. President, you know what I'm saying? I, I know the, yeah, I got the codes like Trump, <laughs> or, or I bought them off somebody, right? <laughs> oh, like, man. come on, poor, student poor, body poor, president, you know what I'm saying? Yo, that's crazy. Poor underfunded teacher. The headline gonna say something stupid. Kid, <laughs> fuck trigger warning. <laughs> Kid grabs a gun and fucking <laughs> bet from the yard. It's right. gonna say something stupid something like done, that. Huh? And you might want to bleep that for that was that was graphic. That was, yeah. But this ain't the way. It's to go. all it all be graphic. This, this is not, not the this way. This is to not go. the way. No, to go. it's not the way. I'm sorry. This is just is not the way. Bro, to the go. decision makers are just making old, bad decisions. Old now or, they or, said, or the opposite. Now they, they said big, we put I'm the, tell you what they the old Dillinger, the old old little two shot gun. He didn't give him less bullets and lock that up in behind the glass. I'm not with that neither. I'm not with. There don't need to be no gun locked up in school. No nah, somebody need a gun. Who? Somebody need a gun. The police. That's what the fuck we pay them for. What does that mean if they're not gonna come in? And now, exactly. And now y'all knocked. So somebody need to be fired. And now y'all knocked the whole school down. Look. So somebody need to be fired. No niggas went and got their kids and left. Think about that, fam. I'm going to get my kids it. and just leave. <laughs> y'all couldn't get them, but we went and got them. No gun. That is crazy, And then man. stop some people from going to get their kid. All right, how do y'all get sad again? Come on. <laughs> anyway, rest in peace to the people affected from that still. Yeah, Ish. word. Read that uh, one more time for me. I assure. <clears throat> Biden administration cancels $3.9 billion in student debt for 208,000 borrowers defrauded by ITT Tech. Uh-huh. Dog, the scammers are up in, in the last five years. They ran the score up. Fam. Them, them is AAU scores. <laughs> yeah. Those look, are like all-star game scores. Look what they're doing to AAU. Yeah, exactly. Now, it's, uh, is it scamming or is it ingenuity? Some of the scams is some bullshit, but some of them is just a nigga thinking outside the box getting to it. I think all the scams is a nigga thinking outside the box. That's what I keep saying but about nah, scammers. But when you start defrauding some of the people, or do, you know what I mean? Affecting niggas' lives, then that's something different. But if you just get into some spanky, I'm not mad. I don't never know what side of the fence it's just on. But, but, it's a case-by-case case basis. Because on, on one hand, you keep saying that we need we need workers. Mm-hmm. Or for every up somebody is having a down, it's causing effect for its balance out there. So Absolutely. which side of it are you on? So it depends. It's a case-by-case case basis. If you run a scam, right, and you take um, $300 million from families and... As a result of your bullshit, some people are poor, some people fucked up. I'm not with that. But if I go rob this quazillion dollar company and I, I rock out. Oh, so you like Robin Hood? I, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm not. So I'm as not long mad as they got it, or the government, you, you take, you it from take them. some. I'm not mad at that. If you are having a direct effect on somebody's kids and the ability for their kids to protect, I remember it's a prime example. This is a true story. Uh, Corey might know these niggas, but back in the day, niggas was running the credit, I mean, the real estate scams. Mm. And they was really affecting niggas' lives. Like, people was getting taken out of their job in handcuffs. Niggas' kids couldn't go to college. Oh, you know, I know. Yeah, exactly. Fam, I'm I'm against that because it has a direct effect on somebody's well-being, somebody's kid. But if you out here and you get over on a corporation, you get over on the government. Robin Hood. Fam, rock out. Robin, I'm not mad at right. that. So as long as they got it. As long as it's somewhere that has it for you to get over. I, I don't be I ain't with stealing from a person, yo. Even if the person is rich, I'm not with stealing from them. So you're with stealing from an entity. But you just Yeah. But That's most of the niggas that got rich are entities. No. The, the, the entity they're I'm talking, in, they're I'm talking about an individual. You an entity. You, you could be the No, I'm not. You I'm an entity. Be, you could be Goldman Sachs. 
right? That's Goldman Sachs. Get them if you can get them. But the CEO of Goldman Sachs is a person. The VPs at Goldman Sachs, those are people. I'm not with stealing from those people. If a nigga that's rich drop his wallet, I'm like, pardon me, sir, you dropped your money. You know what I'm saying? But if a nigga catch Goldman Sachs and hack their company and get it off, rock out. Let me ask you something. Shoot. Sure. In our old uh, renter versus tenant uh, rent argument during the pandemic, mm -hmm. do you think the renter that stopped paying rent to the landlord views that person as a person or as an entity? I think they mistakenly view the person as a, a, a conglomerate. Even when we were arguing, y'all was like, yo, these big businesses. And I said, fam, most landlords are not big businesses. Most landlords own one or two houses, three houses. They're not huge businesses. And even in that, my stance, even in that, wasn't about the people that didn't have it. I was talking about the people that was getting more money and just was like, fuck y'all, I'm not paying. Because now, back to my point, you're taking from somebody. These people still got a mortgage to pay. They not rich people. That's a misconception that most landlords is rich. They not. Okay. You feel me? I understand. All right. No, you I want to argue Nigga got passion on me real quick. No, 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 no. You see, you scared from his passion, right? No, I ain't scared. Got, <laughs> even look. Say right, that shit then. Stay there, stay there. Say right. that shit because he sounded mad until Yo, you so stupid, Now get yo. him. Look, come on. Offer some pushback. Yo, even in the, in the shit we talked about with um, Airbnbs. That mega album done him justice. <laughs> he is. He's inspired, <laughs> you know? Yeah, he's the best part I've ever seen. Yo, yo you her. <laughs> yeah, you, you her. <laughs> her. 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 <laughs> That shit gave him some confidence. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with different level of pun. Yo, no, nah, I'm just saying, like, if you think even at the Airbnb shit that we talked about, I just seen it from a different lens. I seen it from a different scope. And y'all stood on one side, I stood on the other side. I stood on the side of, to your point, the creators. When you stand on the side of the creators, I stood on the side of a person, not a conglomerate combined of all the Airbnbs, but it's people that that was their out. That was their way of escaping Poverty. We found a niche, Airbnb market. That's our niche. We but got out of but it. But in America, the, the conglomerate always affects the people. True. Yeah, but I'm not on the side of them. I'm on the side of the, 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 the nigga that got out of that. You know what I'm saying? The nigga that got out the mud and now they get into it. I'm on the side of that. I don't be on the side of capitalism like y'all say. Because capital, capitalism discounts the people. I'm not on that team. So you for the people. I want everybody to get to it. Get to well, it. Everybody can't get to it. That's not true. What and that's where we have a disconnect. Because everybody can get to it. And people are around us are showing that everybody can get to it. That still ain't everybody. Work harder. <laughs> we started to look how look how that came back around. <laughs> that nigga just, just mad guy. <laughs> that, that guy right there, boy. <laughs> stupid, yo. I'm, I'm about to go listen to that shit when yeah, I go yo, home. Yo, you stupid. <laughs> had me feeling like this. Nah, Meg put that sauce in your boy. Erickson, you see this guy? What's wrong with you? He even looking swaggy on the camera, right? <laughs> Sweat sitting different. That nigga, man, man. All right. What else is, uh, oh, come on. Don't run. Y'all running from it. Come on, man. Do I need to cue up uh, we, Know the Ledge? No, we right here. We, we here. All no, right. We right here. Capitalism. The owners. This is of, capitalism? Absolutely. The owners of the NBA teams own private jets. Why is that capitalism? I'm about to tell you. The owners of the NBA teams own private jets. Okay. NBA? Yes. Because all the NBA owners, the subsidiary is the WNBA. So the owners, the Lakers and the Sparks, they got a, a team. The so, sweet, sweet. I didn't, that's new to me. I don't know that. So the owners of the NBA teams are the same owners of the WNBA team? I, yeah, I don't know that to be so. true. No? I don't know. I don't know. You want to stop before we, we look it up? No, I think I want, so. They're going to look it up while you keep talking. All right. So so if if... We're going off this premise now because I could stand corrected. Yeah, sure. If the Lakers own the Sparks or if the Minnesota Timberwolves own the Lynx or whatever the co okay. corresponding got team it, is. Then so you think they should give them the jet? I think that they don't. They shouldn't have them flying around on commercial flights. Why not? It's capitalism. Because now you're saying the comfort of your team is half and half. It's oh, about money at that point. Ownership, by the way. You get what I'm saying? Say that, it. Ha, uh, says the WNBA is currently owned half by the 30 NBA teams and half by the 12 WNBA teams. But I don't know if that means who owns each team, though. From what I understood, like, every team had their corresponding G League team, corresponding female team. You get what I'm saying? Let's let's 
progress the conversation yeah. under that. Got you. So under that. Perception. So if the Knicks own the, what's the female team in New York? The Liberty. Liberty. Fam, for them to have them flying commercial in the playoffs, it's crazy. You playing every other day. You got to go to a commercial flight, sit in the airport, do all of that bullshit. You know how tiring it is when you be flying? Who's flying more, the, the Mark Cuban or the Dallas WNBA team? Who, who, who is my jet? <laughs> now let me ask you this. You so, want me to give my jet to one of your businesses? Yeah. Bring me the paper. The, let, let bring me, me the paperwork. Bring me that paperwork. Let me see. No. I'm going to ask a different question. How much that team is making? <laughs> That's what I said. It's capital. That's why I said it's capitalism. No, this is business. Yeah, I don't view that as capitalism. That's because business. at one point, the because NBA the operated t- the same exact way. Because look. When look, they look, weren't look. as profitable. When they were right, not they, as profitable. They, yes. they were flying uh, Commercial. uh, commercially. True. That's with, what we're how much public. is this team so making? So let me ask, and how much am airports. I spending? How much is that flight costing me? Yeah. How much am I spending versus how much this team is making? That's just not yeah. smart business. I don't see it. True. So now, but now it goes into um, the product that you're putting out. So if I've been flying back and forth, I'm tired as hell, and I got to go play a game, and might have to play a double header. What is the product on the field going to look like? Well, not the field, but the court going to look like. So you're trying to market this product. I'm tired of shit. You got me flying damn near like on the Chitlin circuit on the buses. Like, fam, you're not putting a good product on the court. So now it becomes a fine line that you got to walk. I get it. I'm just saying it's capitalism. I don't. I want y'all, because y'all call me the capitalist guy. Tell me what y'all definition of capitalism is if it's not business and turning a profit. Yeah, I just see it. If that's what capitalism is, then sign me up too. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's the goal. If it's business, I'm, my goal is to make money. <laughs> this is, I'm it's telling it's you, business, boy. This is my goal. Yo, he is money, a monster though. in the making, no, yo. No, no, no. You I'm about not, to be Frankenstein mm, in about two years, I'm telling you, I'm, dog. It does Seriously. appear that a lot of the WNBA teams are owned by their corresponding ownerships, but not in all cases. Yeah, so again, if you own the Minnesota Timberwolves and your corresponding team is the female version of that, the Lynx. Fam, why would you not put them on a plane? In the playoffs, because you How play many so people frequently. Are watching these playoffs? How many they tickets got TV are sold? deals and shit? I'm just, I'm just literally. I don't hear why, where this is capitalist. I don't, fam. It's not maybe making I'm, me any I'm money stupid. like that. Alex, pull up the definition of capitalism. Yeah, I'm because I'm not this smart. I don't understand it. I don't see it. I mean, I'm not. It is. I, I'm I, trying I, to grow my business. Uh huh. In growing the business, I'm staying within bounds of what we project to do from now in the next five Love. years. Capitalism. An economic and political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit rather than by the state. That's not capitalism. Well, that's not what we're talking about. Yes, it is. They are private owners of a team. They not owned by some state. They're a private owner of a team, and they turn trying to turn as much profit as possible. When you start talking about Amazon, when you start talking about Microsoft, when you start talking about all of these specific companies, and we accuse them of capitalism, what's the difference in the crafts as as opposed to what though? I guess that's where I'm a little lost at. Yeah. If I own a team, mm-hmm. what should my goal be? Profit. Or no, let me take as opposed no, to no, no, no. Let me reel that back. Let me reel that back because we just talked about the Mets, mm-hmm. and in the Mets we said that what's his name, Cohen, Cohen, yeah. the new owner, Cohen, right? I think. All right, his goal is really winning. I'm gonna spend it. I want to win. Yeah. Right. Steinbrenner was. I don't care what it costs. My ego's on the line. We winners here. I'm gonna spend it to win. Every owner don't look at that like that. Some owners look at the bottom line, and I want to be as profitable as possible, and that's why we see certain sports franchises be shitty for mad long, because all of them don't have winning at their priority level, at the top priority for them. Mm-hmm. You Some are, of them have money as it. You losing me a little bit. Okay. The the private owners have blueprints laid out for them from. Uh, What's your man name that owns the Cowboys? Jerry Jones. Jones. Jerry Jones. Fucking. It's a bunch of the owners. We just Robert watched Kraft. the Lakers. Mm-hmm. The Lakers. Where there's been a blueprint laid on what to do when you buy a team uh, cheap and what happens when they win and what it could be worth. True. There's a, a, a path that is easily imagined 
That is not the case in the WNBA. Oh, no, no. Not yet. And that's the only point that I'm arguing. But so wh- I, I just don't see how it makes it capitalist if this is my business and I'm running it within within bounds. I, I just don't see capitalism. Yeah, I'm not that. cutting corners. And yeah, the the, the, the yeah the the problem I got with that definition is when it said uh within country. Like this is not affecting the country. <laughs> yeah, but you could take country out and then make the team. It affects the players. It, that's but it's the people. many Yo, people but this that is why kid. football is football and basketball is bad. They, they are private though. <laughs> I agree, but what I'm saying is, when we typically lose the use the term capitalist, we use it loosely. We're not using it based on that definition that we had up. We use capitalism as a greedy motherfucker that's just trying to get money by any means necessary. That's the typical putting profit defini- above everything. Yeah, else. we put in profit above all else. So what I'm saying is, if you have an entity and you have employees that are working for you and they going out there and they putting a product on the court, you want them to be as vibrant as possible, like sir. San Francisco 49ers back in the day before everybody were flying private. He had them flying private early and they praised him for that. But other motherfuckers was flying commercial and his stance was, yo, this is my income creator or one of them because I'm sure he had other businesses, but I want them to be as fresh and lively as possible. I want them to fly in comfort because I'm getting a better product on the field. He could have flew commercial with everybody else. You know the other part of this conversation I don't like is the pocket watching aspect of it cuz we assume that every team is net positive. That's true. But like but, we don't we don't know how some of these teams are doing. And I'm especially saying, in the WNBA like it says it right here it's what was that? The Dream, the Sun, the Sky, the Wings, Aces, Sparks and Storm are independently owned. Mm-hmm. So these are teams that ain't even don't have like a, a NBA team that owns them. The Aces are owned by an owner who also owns the NFT, NFL team, the Raiders. What yeah, I'm saying, yeah, the Davis family. Owns what I'm saying the, is the this: Vegas team. But we, we we are also doing that when you start talking about the blueprint that's been laid out by the Steinbrenners or uh, Mark another Cuban one. and all of them, mm-hmm. right? Jones. A lot of that. Look, at we making another three cert. 360. That's luck. When that nigga bought the Golden State Warriors, the Golden State Warriors were a bottom feeder franchise in the NBA. They weren't the standard. And because Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green did what they did, now they damn near one of the highest ranked three teams in the league. We'll finish this on Patreon, but in that specific example, I'm on your side. Why is that not preparation? Yeah, I don't think that's good. Yeah, that's, I don't think. No, I said we went back to luck. Yeah, so I don't think that's Nobody knew, because nobody knew Steph was going to be Steph. That sounds like good uh, scouting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still buying a team knowing that if I put the right pieces in place, I can make the team worth this. Everything is a I stock. might not know I'm going to get Every, a, step, if, if the a stock, Steph or a Draymond or any of that. And it turns that. into something. Yeah, yeah that's but not, that's but the hope. Think, that's not luck. That's the hope. That's no. not luck at all, that example, buying, buying him buying the uh, Warriors. That's not luck. That's a good business decision. That's literally saying, yo, if I buy this team, oh, this is how much it's going for? Mm-hmm. Yo, if I buy this team and I can make them a winner, it could be worth this. That's the luck piece that you... I don't stand on the side of luck, but I'm going back to what yeah, you said gonna, I don't, I don't because there's no guarantees in the NBA draft that you are going to come out with a once in a lifetime talent like Steph on, Stephen Curry. But That's a once in a, a lifetime. The guarantees in life ish, like yeah, everything which, is a bet. I'm agreeing with y'all. Y'all called that luck before. I, I didn't call that luck. That's prep. That part right there. We're is getting luck. off of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, right, we are getting off of this. Cool, but. They got the girls flying commercial, fam. Staying around the airport, waiting for the delays and all that. I think that's some bullshit. Go pull up on them. <laughs> they too tall. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's Skylar, though. You got some part of the shows, I think, right? No, Skylar. wait, no, Skylar. wait. Oh, my bad. No, wait, hold up. Because right in line with this, here we go, right here. Ruffles has signed its first ever female athlete. Ruffles the chip? Yes. Aja Wilson. Round of applause. See, now 30 more of y'all get out there and get some chip, chip deals and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I better get to calling around. The rap snack's yeah. still out there. <laughs> Yo, Ice. That's some chips. We trying to get some more chip deals. Uh, <laughs> rap snack. <laughs> Start with, <laughs> nah, she's super tough though. Like, <laughs> yo, what's wrong with this guy, man? No, we believe in that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> nah, I just, I, I don't know, yo. I, I just think that 
what we view as capitalism don't necessarily be it, but get the girls on a private jet, man. They sitting around waiting for delays. This some bullshit, man. Fam. Ice, I was on a plane last week. That shit had a three-hour delay. They fuck around missed the game. Listen, I'm going to rapid fire a few of these part of the shows to you gentlemen. All right. Because we haven't done them in a while. Let's do it. Uh, we'll start simple. What does it take for you to cut someone off? Who? That's that's from Diamond. Diamond. This Diamond. is easy. That yeah. is from Diamond. Diamond. <laughs> barely not. Barely anything. <laughs> Yo. Barely the, the, what? the smallest of things nowadays. You might Diamond. say hot at me too early and get yeah. cut off. Yeah. I wasn't scissors? ready for that. You want scissors, axe, knife? What? What? Yeah. Are we talking get, about? As you age, you're you're, you're cut. It, the, the bar lowers. Oh, you yeah. get you get it out. Yeah. Yeah. This is nothing. All right. Oh, you all agree? Look at that. Um. First off, let me say, damn, I have to read this again. Fuck. Uh, and this is from Pizza and Donuts. <laughs> of course it is. First, let me start by saying I have yet to receive a rim job. Oh, but I had dang. a little treesh come through. Straight to action. We kiss a bit, uh, and she already had on the easy access dress. Gotta love that. I go down on her, and she moaning. She's fucking with the vibes. Now we're having sex, and I'm taking her to Pound Town. And it's always weird when they always they use the slang that we use. Yeah. Man, you, you, yeah. All right. I hop up, though. Can't spill the baby gravy too fast. And she's like, do you want some head? I'm like, hell yeah. I'm laying on my back. She's on her stomach at the end of the bed and starts topping me off. This is too kinky for me. This, this is, is graphic. This is- Out of nowhere, she then starts sucking my balls. I'm like, oh, you a treesh. Surf voice. See, this is extra. Uh, next thing I know her nose is under my balls and she starts licking the gooch uh, territory I kind of stiffened up from the shock and she noticed it and then she stopped and we went back to having sex did I just get my first rim job or is gooch still head no nigga no, no, you, there's no rim then it's not a rim job yeah. she tapped glass what the, hell is, <laughs> what the talking? hell is this guy talking about yo? Stupid. This nigga don't even know his own body. <laughs> no, nigga, she smacked the back boy, you dumbass. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. All right. This nigga says she Let me see here. Oh, Drew. Man. Drew says oh, thoughts shit. on navigating non single life in Atlanta while having a long distance relationship. Atlanta <laughs> is wild, fam. As a reformed man of the streets, I would love some perspective from the guys on heavy temptation versus heavier commitment. Whew. My advice is don't. Yeah, that's tough, buddy. Don't what? I'm, Leave that relationship alone, man. I'm that's, scared. That's I'm hard. Scared, scared faithful. <laughs> that's hard, bro. I mean, he said heavy temptation versus heavier commitment. So if your commitment is heavier. He's still emailing us. <laughs> <laughs> I hear what he said. Nah, I hear him. And, and he he tried one. to jazz he got, it up. He got one in his he, sights. He tried to jazz it one. up at the end. Fam, he's probably seeing them daily. No, but I'm talking about it's something that's got him considering. Yo, let me just ask the fellas. It's a few. Yo, fam, hold, 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 hold tight, man. What's his name? His man. name. He 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 said he's a former man of the it's streets. Drew. He, he's he's Andrew. still a man of the streets. He he know what he he know what he got. Mm-hmm. Cause you wouldn't be a former man of the streets unless you found one of them. You got to get her to the A quick though. Where do each of you see yourselves in ten years, professionally, personally, etc.? Oh, Get this nigga getting it. his money worth. Yeah. He's the same <laughs> nigga. He asking mad questions. Yeah. We ain't give him no advice, though. Who, Atlanta dude? Yeah. I told him, break up. Oh, man. Or move. Oh, that was a different dude. Where do each of you see yourselves in 10 years? Give it to me. Up there. Oh. oh. This this is the riveting shit they pay yeah, for. Yeah, word, right? <laughs> uh, word. That's where I see myself. I see myself up. I don't, that's financially. Oh, yeah. Personally, spiritually, up, oh, improved. Yes, I'm working, get into it. Yeah, that's it. You like when the dog discovers there's a park across the street. <laughs> what? That's, that's, that's what this nigga act like, yo. What are you talking about? What is he talking about, yo? When the dog figure out that there's a park right across the street. Okay, I don't know what that yeah, means. I, I, it means the world is in front of them, ready to conquer. I'm gotcha, out. Gotcha, Get me gotcha, off gotcha. this leash. Watch, watch this trick. I'm gone. Peace, owner. Nah, it ain't that. <laughs> yeah, I'm up. I don't know. I look up 
all areas up, I'm out, gone. That should be your goal, though, is to constantly improve. Yo, I'm such a... Got, go on. Go on, See, it. I keep it real with now myself, Now you gotta make yo. it more... Um, <laughs> like, you know what's gonna happen in 10 years? 10, ten, right, ten, 10 years. Where we at? This is 2022. It's so scary to really think about. I got an almost 13-year-old. Mm-hmm. I plan to be up enough to... Like, my daughter's gonna be getting ready to go to high school, damn mm-hmm. here. So, yeah, my plan is to be where she's living a comfortable enough life where it's a lot of things that I might not, I don't want to say worry about because there are worries all, but yeah, that's that's my plan, bro. I'm, I'm planning for family. Parks? Just up work, work and get into it. Kids? I can see myself, be, uh, maybe kids, I don't know. I don't know. Big house in Jersey? Men don't ask. Jersey, them. upstate, you can yeah. clearly tell men don't ask themselves these questions. Nah, I do. <laughs> yeah, you answer. I was just trying to let y'all get. No, go ahead. Get your shit off. Ten years. Um, Come on, her. <laughs> yo, this nigga ignorant. Now um, you're gonna diss him for thinking about his future. <laughs> <laughs> Men are so crazy. I didn't hear the album, album yet. Uh, Nobody would have had an answer too. Nah. Uh, hopefully, I'll be developing, like on a bigger on a bigger scale in a real estate forum, like bigger development. Um, that's professionally. Um, and not just that in 10 years who knows the entertainment space could take me somewhere you know what I'm saying like it's, we're not closed off to that now that we're here I'm sure um, I could be chasing crooks like Ice-T in Law and Order or something I don't know <laughs> yo that's like the fourth time you, yeah, you, you, you get yeah, on that Law and Order <laughs> and I hope you do he done mentioned that Law yo, and Order quite that, a few that's, times that's one of my little jokey jokes huh oh yeah, sure. you get on Law and Order before Joe We'll be beefing if I get on Law and Order. Before no. him? We'll beef way before then. <laughs> it's, us, it's us, nigga. See, 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 see the spells he put in the universe? <laughs> no, don't yeah. do that. Don't now do that. You just said That's it. It's a joke. I know, I know. Everything is a joke. See, look. <laughs> Yo, but, look. No, look. Um, personally. Uh, and no, I don't want to do that no more. Once I saw Ice T wasn't letting up, I was like, all right, dog. Nah, he, he, he won. He, got, he, got, he can't chase yeah, crooks forever. Shit, he can still say them lines. I think we just missed him. Like, he could just. <laughs> He can say his little, get his little Ice lines off. Ice T better off. get his old ass out of here. Ice T the, the nigga that else. don't believe. I, nah, I don't believe nothing. Tell us, tell us where he at. <laughs> That's some shit. Shout out to Ice T, man. You taking your acting classes? Huh? <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm not telling you all about my aspirations. Yo, Parker. but um, uh, um, personally, hopefully I'll be married. Um. <laughs> Damn! Why y'all laugh at him though? What the fuck is wrong? Yo, because they was at the mixer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, anyway, you um, never get my good ones. No, nah, that was a good one. That wasn't a good one. It, 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 we all on anyway, podcast. yo, fam. Look, listen, what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> again, on a personal side, like I said, uh, my daughter will be in high school, so hopefully, I'll be in a space with her um, that'll be in a positive situation. She could be headed toward her own entrepreneurial shit if that's her route she wants to go. I'm a teacher as much as I possibly can to get there, but. That's it. Yo, go. <laughs> I ain't the therapist now, nigga. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, y'all this niggas, nigga y'all niggas said, yo, evidently, nah, man, don't just, think like that. Nah, he's about nigga. to pour into me. Like, I don't like nigga. I don't, <laughs> I don't really give a pour fuck. I don't really <laughs> this nigga about to make me cry. <laughs> yo, you stupid, dog. This nigga's an ass. Oh, me? I'm still going to be killing these bitch-ass niggas out. What the fuck are you niggas talking about? No. <laughs> hey, yo, you going to be fully white talking on the pod wars? Fully white. Oh, I hope so. These shit's coming in fast. These shit's coming in quick. And I'm tired of these great bearded old niggas on the gram fucking doing normal shit trying to show off their beard. Nigga, I got beard butter too. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years. <sighs> nah. I'm out of here. Dog, you gotta be specific. I'm out of here. You gotta be specific. Nah, I'm Go not ahead. giving these niggas my IP. I'm out of here on you niggas in 10 years. Yo. Sayonara, buddy. See why men can't have a real conversation. In yo. ten years, I don't know if I'm living in New Jersey. Come on, let's talk about it. All right. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if if ten year Joe is in New Jersey. Really? Mm-hmm. That I, don't, I don't see it. And not by my own vision, but just looking at what life is doing for me. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Life is going to pluck me away from New Jersey. It is my my path mm. is going to get me away from here. I can't fully step into my shit I, I, here. I think that as well. For so you. I'm going to be somewhere. For you? Yeah, I think I, I'd see mm-hmm. me being somewhere. You've said that uh, too before. No more kids. I don't see more kids. 
10 years. My oldest is 31. Oh, yeah, I'm hanging out with him. We out. Uh, my youngest is 14. That should be fun. Uh, what else do I see for me? I'm not getting married. I'm not getting married. It's over for that. Mm-mm. Yeah, I think I'm there. No, I'm up. I ain't doing it. Hmm. Sorry. I think I'm on I'm some there. Oprah life partner shit. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Life, life partner me out. We ain't signing shit. Dude. And 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 no, but we can still, as a life partner, have like our contractual shit. shit. Yeah. We can still have our pay, our paperwork. Yeah. Our. I'm talking paperwork. about the shit. I'm not signing. Yeah, that. yeah, no, nah, I'm cool on that. Uh, what else? Marriage in, license in ten shit, years. I'm not doing that. Ten years, I will, I, I will, I will have beat some of these demons that have grappled me. They're out of there. These little pills work. So I'm waiting for my next batch. Uh, what else is happening That's in ten one, years? Yeah. yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. In 10 years, I will, in the next 10 years, I'm going to have to suffer great loss. Yeah, all of us. Mm-hmm. Most likely. Most of us, age, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't look forward to it. Me either. But I know that that is a... Part of life. I know God ain't really showed me nothing yet. <laughs> what else is happening in 10 years? I could do this all day. No, I, I this do this. This is dope. Yeah, uh, this, is, no, this is... 10 years, what else? What else is... Professionally, you still want to be on in front of the camera, or no? Uh, or just play by ear? I'll have to see. Play by ear. I'll, I'll, I'll have to see about. It. I'm not opposed to it. Certainly, a lot less than I am today. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you still see fucking Ryan Seacrest. They, these shows is having their anniversaries now, so they, I, me and my mom argued because. Kelly and Regis, Regis and somebody just celebrated their shit, or they were showing just all the years of Regis. I'm like, wait, hold up, what year did Regis? What well, year did Kelly? Time. No. Wait, what? Because yeah. it was Regis. I remember and Kelly when Regis. Yeah, and then Regis dipped, but I remember it just seems like yesterday. But nah, they still. Then straight hand dip. Yeah, but I'm saying Ryan Seacrest has been on forever. Mm-hmm. Leno's been on for like these guys. They Letterman, like you, I'll pop up now. How I want to pop up. It'll look different. It'll be structured differently. It will. I wish I could share more, but they're listening. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, give them the sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. You don't see you with some polka dots at 60? You might be out there in your studio. I'll, I'll, I'll be dressed less. What? I'll be dressed less in 10 years. Yeah. Maybe not. Hmm? Maybe not. You might be out there in your Steve Harvey shit. No, I mean the amount of times that I'm gonna put clothes on will be less than it is today. I'm gonna be somewhere floating around naked with a movie, <laughs> a movie painted back here, overlooking some, <laughs> some water. Yeah, it's gonna look it's like some something. water overlooking some water. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get a kid something to look at it. Fifty, and niggas, how all the way is fifty? That shit look good, just like niggas did. Niggas, they making fifty look good. They is, they are. Yeah, they mm-hmm. making fifty and sixty look good. They yeah. do. I mean, I'm on so. The, the the hard part is getting to it, mm-hmm. like that is true. Me, meeting that. No, you want to stick around long enough to see how fly you can get. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. y'all ain't play outstanding, man. No, no, no. All right. nothing to play. That was cool. Over. Oh, All right, uh, you, somebody, one of y'all niggas got that off on part of the show. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Uh, that one Atlanta nigga, same nigga, right? I been saying, dude, we say nigga a lot. We gotta stop saying. We that. do gotta stop. Yeah, saying. y'all we, do have we, to stop. We toss that around. Like, you say nigga a lot too. Oh no, I'm not stop saying it. That's why I'm saying. <laughs> it. I said, y'all have. To, I'm never stop. So that's written in stone. But yeah, I'm not, I'm I don't. Not have, we don't have to it. say it. This we much. don't have to say it this, this much. Like we know how to talk. That is true. <laughs> we are articulate. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm done. Your man, Brent Fires, heard your comments and put a little something out. What he said? They asked him if he was truly independent, and he says, "Yes, absolutely, absolutely, bro." He said that shit is hilarious. It's wild to think niggas get to the level to the point motherfuckers think niggas fake the funk. I just feel like shit. That shit is kind of like damn. Like <laughs> niggas is really doing this. Motherfuckers seen how I was living. Every spot I moved into, every motherfucking opportunity that a nigga got. So if you get to the level where you're doing your thing to a point where Motherfuckers you ain't never met Saying you didn't really earn your shit That's how you know you must be killing the game Good point That I see what he means 
I don't know if he's independent or not. I was going to say that. I don't really, really, really. It does. What he's saying is, damn, I'm doing it that well to where people are saying that I can't possibly be independent based on the level of success I've reached. I had to get some help in doing so. Well, that's not why nigga said he wasn't independent. I'm not saying. I'm just saying that's what his point was. I don't know if he is or he ain't. I'm just saying. I'm saying that when we discussed it here and looked at the copyright on the album and Joe looked up the company, who it was, things clicked and made a little bit of sense. That was his way of saying, oh, you're not really independent. You got some help over here with the people that actually own the machines. That's what he said. To me, this doesn't respond to that. Yeah, but in, in his defense, he wasn't really presented with anything that we said. Gilly was just like, yo, uh, Joe Budden said you are, you are not independent. I mean, I ain't really see it. I don't know, but he implied it was, it was, like it was one of those. Which is always the case. Mm-hmm. But listen, yeah, I'm not. I, I'm certainly not doing the independent thing again. I did this for years with Chance. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not doing this again. Uh, two parts of that, though. Can we put that back? What I was just reading. Uh, two parts of this. He says, uh, "You uh, niggas get to the levels of the point. Motherfuckers think niggas is faking the funk." That part is interesting to me because that explains y'all's view of what's going on with signing to a major and being independent. Y'all think that that's like considered it as like you faking. Like it's not, it's frowned upon. Like, but that's not what it means. Nobody says it's fake. Nobody says it's a bad thing. It's just distinguishing who's who and what's what. So you can have a proper understanding. Then he says, uh, uh, at the end thing, uh, you're doing your thing to a point where motherfuckers you ain't never met saying you really didn't earn your shit. Well, who said that? Yeah, that's nobody said you didn't. Who the hell anything. said that you didn't earn your spot? That's typically, if if you're doing the right thing, you typically get faced with a decision at some point and people that can help come along. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that don't mean that you didn't earn the spot. Yeah, you earned the right to even get into the room where that conversation no, could take place. I, but I, I get his point, though. I, I definitely understand his point. Now, they brought this shit up to see if he would uh, address any of the other shit I said. But he didn't. He was a class act up there, and shout out to him. That's true. And the album still that, that's, that's what it is. That's a little potty trick. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you heard that shit such and such said about you? What, what do you think? <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you think of that one, Ed? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. And everybody do that with my name. Of course. You got a name that gets an article. Oh, all right. What else? What else? What else do we have? Which is fucked up. I wish they would have asked him about some of the other stuff I said. <laughs> do you really? Fuck yeah. Why? So he can answer. You ask him. Don't what? leave it to nobody else to ask him because then it gets muddy. Up. I'm not interviewing nobody. No, I'm, I'm just, saying that I'm if you're an in example. an interview and somebody does that, I'd rather you take the important part of nobody. Cares. If you're independent, not independent, nobody cares about that. Like that's not. It says nothing. No, but you just said it opened the door for the other shit. You get what I'm saying? No, I like, said that's what it was yeah, hoping. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Yeah, I don't, I'm done. Yeah, so I, don't, was, I don't have anything else. I'm still mad none of y'all ever gritty. I'm still mad about that. I'm still mad about that. So y'all got to take this shit to the next level at some point. Uh, Come on, man. And some of that is dramatization. How you going to be on Law & Order? <laughs> Word. How you going to do Law & Order? Stop. Can't nigga. even hit it. <laughs> Stop, I, nigga. They, <laughs> yeah, we never let you that's, 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 that's the Yo. first thing you want to say, huh? Yo. Stop, stop, nigga. <laughs> oh, I'm a shoot. Holy shit. I'm a bust a cap. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What the hell? Yo, he, uh, damn. This he's trying to get us out of here. This man. Oh, man. Uh, congratulations to Draymond Green uh, and his wife. Oh, yeah. Uh, wedding looked phenomenal. I like the around. little uh, party favors I seen at the wedding yeah. too. I don't know if you've seen them. Saw that. Had a I blunt didn't. rolling station. They had a blunt. They had blunts rolled up like Cubans. Word. All right. We love that. Shout Absolutely. out! Shout out to those guys. Glad they had a good time. Um, and congratulations again. Mm. Marriage, beautiful thing. Uh, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. So long. Goodbye. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. Remember, this thing is fragile and short. This shit moves, got legs to it. In a blink of an eye, before you know it. Be grateful, be humble, be loving, hug thy neighbor. I'm humble, fuck what these niggas say. 
<laughs> oh, no, nah, give me hype now. Get the rise in there. Get the rise in there. Yo, we'll be back same time, same place. Y'all know what time it is. We got good weather in New York this week. What if I just land in Miami with work to do? <laughs> oh, my God. I got to get my balls clipped before that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely getting clipped before that move. <laughs> Wherever you put me next, God. <laughs> we, we gonna be we gonna be prepared. I'll be prepared. <laughs> so it won't be luck. Huh? <laughs> Got to be prepared. Good hey, back, look buddy. at you, Ish. Good call back. Oh, I'm counting down to Greece. I'm in Greece soon on you niggas. I'm out of here. I'm already packing. <laughs> Hey, now nah, I'm shopping already. I'm serving I'm serving fits on you niggas when I get to Greece. Hey, don't look at my page. You're going to get sick. I ain't staying in that room neither. I looked that room up. <laughs> Y'all knew I was going to look it I up. I you was going to do that. I went right to look it up. That looked like a hosting or some type of... <laughs> I'm talking shit. Stupid, yo. I'm going to show you, though. Take a peek. Take a peek. Subscribe. <laughs> hey, y'all better subscribe to my shit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>